imagine you have these these grandiose ideas and, and this yeah. this concept that you have, yeah. and there's a guy there that is like, I am here to scale you back down. Yeah. <laughs> you're so like, like, you're pushing the envelope yeah. a little bit, yeah. aren't you? Like, like I want to record on the moon. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> a, a dying black hole, or like a black hole, is like the loudest sound ever. The moon would be nice, but I don't think I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Lads, 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 welcome back to another episode of the Trash Taste Podcast. I'm lad number one, and I'm with lad number two and three, as always. And I've got a lad sitting next to me. Who are you? Uh, just a lad, right? I'm just, I'm just some fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> just some dude. We just, just found an Australian guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I thought I was the only no, one. No, no, not today, not today. So uh, after many, many months, many, yes. many moons, we finally have the one and only Mr. Kevin Pankin on the How's show. It? How's it? As Hell yeah. as aside from being an, an, just an Aussie lad, what else are you known for, yeah. Kevin? Not much, mate. <laughs> 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 no, okay. So uh, I guess like on a good day, I, I write music for anime and games. Um, yeah. Um, uh, some of those on a, good day. on a good day <laughs> on, a good <laughs> on a bad day I'm just some fucking guy on a couch drinking a beer and watching YouTube <laughs> but um, <Who> <laughs> hey actually yeah it's, it's not a bad day actually yeah. but, uh, like but yeah. Yeah, on a professional day I am uh, writing music for um, anime and video games as I said uh, some of those being Made in Abyss <gasps> and Tower of God mm -hmm. and Rising of the Shield Hero and also did uh, Star Wars Visions one of the episodes for Star Wars Visions which uh, Hell yeah. not the worst thing to happen to <laughs> yeah, I guess me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Are, are you, are you Compose, being modest? The other composers day? for Star Wars. Not the worst thing to not, happen. Not the worst. Yes. Not the worst. <laughs> That'll be my like on my tombstone. Not the worst. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think the thing that is like always like I've never asked you this. I'm just like, how the hell did this happen? So, yeah. Like, how do you? Yeah. Yeah. Because it seems like Japanese anime would want to get Japanese composers. Mm. So like, how did this all come around? And I guess they have for the longest time, right? Yeah. 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 So what's your like background with? No, Music sure. The life I mean, how did you end up here? Well, it's—I mean, it's a very super random, like, kind of series of events that, mm -hmm. like, I don't really understand how it happened. Mm. Happy it did, but I have no idea actually how it happened. Mm. But I—I I guess like the the chronological events is that I actually started working, uh, probably yeah, in the in the end of my teens, I started working with the um, Final Fantasy composer uh, Nobu Uematsu. Nobu Uematsu. Wow. Yeah, which is. Awesome. I mean, I was, wait, was, how, wait, how yeah, did that happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. Let's go back. Like, no one just like works with Nobuo Yamatsu. <laughs> let's, let's go back, back. to, let's go to conception. Yeah. Uh, where was you? <laughs> Your local um, neighborhood <laughs> friend, Nobuo Yamatsu. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just uh, I just saw a guy at the bar <laughs> once, and I just ended up composing I, for I you, like with the composer of Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said conception. I was like, uh, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I had always like wanted to do like video game music. Mm -hmm. um, mm. I remember because I. I, uh, my first game console um, was GameCube, and mm -hmm. I played this game called Metro Prime, which is still my favorite game. Of Amazing time. game. Right, right, so, right. Yeah, it is one of my favorites. Um, and uh, when I played the game, I was like, I want to do that. And so that's basically <laughs> what happened. I was like, oh, I want to do that one. Yeah. Right, uh, right. And so uh, I kind of just like started you know, pretending to write video game music. Mm. And um, Australia also had a, a bunch of like video game concerts that happened, including the Final Fantasy concerts. Yeah. Uh, but uh, in a slightly different, did you just burp? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had this click thing. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a clicking thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'll shut the fuck up. Then. <laughs> did you interrupt my story? <laughs> no. no. Fucking <laughs> dead. I, 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 I Make fucked a up my story a little bit. So I fucked up my my. Um. So yeah, Aust Australia had all these um, kind of concerts going on. I mm -hmm. met a c conductor called Arnie Roth, uh, mm. who did um, some concerts called Play. Mm. And so I went over from Perth, Western Australia, from where I'm from. Mm. Uh, went over to Sydney to do this, um, to to kind of view this um, this concert. And uh, he invited me to come say hello to him and also one of the composers there, who's the right. Silent Hill composer, Kira Yamoka. So I met him. Right. Uh, that was really cool, and he was like super kind of. Mm. He was very very generous with his time for like some eager you know piece of shit fifteen year old. Wow. Yeah. Right. So I really right, appreciate right, that right. even right. to this day. But um, uh, because I met Arnie. When I saw that Umatsu-san was going to come to a concert in Seattle, yeah. right. places, um, I was like, "Hey, so we might come over. Like me and my dad might like, might come over and come say hi." Right. Yeah. And um, they were like, "Oh well, thank you for coming such a long way from Perth, which is like thirty six right. hours in a plane." Right. Don't right. recommend that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we spent like thirty six hours going to Seattle. Um, met Arnie, and then he was like, "Oh, just come to the dress rehearsal and come say hi as well to." To Imatsu and stuff. And wow. So, Wait, yeah. So, so, you're just going to these concerts and you just We went to hi. that one, yeah. Right. You could just yeah. say hi. 
Uh, well, because we met at that previous one in Sydney. Oh, where we okay, okay. Kind of come over and stuff. Mm, so, right. Um, yeah, it was very, very lucky. Yeah, uh, you make it sound very easy. Like, yeah, 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 uh, like yeah. so you met him initially, and you just bumped into him initially, or you like? No, you no. So, like, we had been invited to come say hi at this concert in Sydney, which then led to this concert oh. in Seattle, where we must son was, where we met for the first time. Right, right, right. right. And um, Australia, all the um, school um, sort of all the school years are flipped. Because it's summer when it's right, winter. Right, okay. Mm. So, because um, it's Australia. Yeah. Because it's Australia, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every, everything's yeah, exactly. reversed. Yeah. Of course, you've got, you got to yeah, flip exactly. it. Like, yeah. you know, our, like our summer holiday is December. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's when we have like the at the classic school, like two, three month kind of break. Uh, sort of right, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. It's basically like all of December and January is just off. Yeah. Okay, school. Okay, yeah. Okay. yeah. But, uh, but um, <laughs> that was obviously like New Year's and stuff and Christmas in Japan. So for summer holiday, we would go to winter in Japan. Right. End up. They're very graciously say hello. Yeah, you can come say hi and stuff. And yeah. Eventually, just, that just led to a couple of um, yeah, it's like small. It's not the Final Fantasy game. I should be very clear about right, that. Right, but, right. But um, yeah, I was yeah. But okay. you made some pretty insane connections from that. I, oh, I bet. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's still pretty crazy to talk about. But it's yeah, you like, make it sound so easy. Like, yeah. You know, no, I just like <laughs> had them on speed dial. After yeah. Them. No, no, not quite, no, yeah. No. I just went to a concert and then just went to another concert <laughs> and then just no, you know no, things it, happen and then uh, uh yeah here honest, I am. Honestly, at the end of the day, I'm just I'm just happy it happened. I mean, <laughs> I know I've been using that word a little bit today, yeah. but it's like yeah, I'm just super just things have just. Yeah, panned out. Yeah. Not so, not so shit over the last. Right, like, over I'm, I'm, I'm trying to piece the whole thing in my head together. Like, yeah, how, me too. How it all, <laughs> <laughs> how, it all how it all comes together. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you met him again at another concert. Yeah. And how did that translate into then working for them? Because surely that's a massive leap. Well, we had because of these Japanese trips that I would do over Australian summer, Japanese winter. Mm. Basically, right. what happened is uh, we were able to um, just kind of keep a connection, and then eventually, like I kept on submitting some CDs and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Right. I was that guy. So, mm, right. But, which I, in this case it worked out but you know it's like i you never think about it that way you're just hoping the best to just you know you just want yeah. to be involved in mm. some way yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, no. yeah it feels nice so you just like kept submitting your work and like and they're like well, okay they, okay well, i mean more like god bless them they actually you know listen to it yeah uh, yeah, yeah, yeah no yeah, obligation yeah, to do it. i would not hold it against them to not do it but they yeah, just yeah, so yeah. graciously kind of did and yeah eventually um i'm happy to say that i was able to be useful to them so uh, that's yeah. so so you were like making music from like as early as like how old like Oh shit! Um, like, so, like I, I assume very, very young, right? Like, yeah. were you like yeah. classically trained and stuff? Or? Yeah. So I, I played flute. I came from flute. <laughs> <laughs> just see, see yeah. you <laughs> playing flute. Which is just such a funny industry. <laughs> I can do the um, I can do the anchorman solo. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, I can do it. I'm so like. That's like <laughs> Why didn't you I, bring your flute? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry, I, I left it in. I left it in Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, um, I actually like picked it up a little bit uh last year like during the pandemic so i was like oh right. i'm fucking bored now so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. try again and ended up using it a bit on the the new shield here and stuff so i did some right some right, yaz, right. Some jazz flute oh wow yeah, that that yeah. that in you snuck that in hell little, yeah little, little cheeky jazz flute, little cheeky <laughs> jazz flute. So, so you started with flute uh, <laughs> from like uh, really young yeah, and then so you kind of just went on from playing, there yeah flute playing played metro prime wanted to write music all just right. like played on the, i'm not sure if you know finale yeah yeah, yeah, did yeah. Finale for a little while and like didn't understand what like Working with actual like you know DAWs and stuff, mm. where, uh, which are digital audio, digital audio uh, workstations. workstations. Yeah, yeah so like Logic Pro and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Logic Pro is eventually what I moved to, and I still use it today. Mm -hmm. uh, and Scary yeah, just, thing yeah, yeah. Ah, it's, it's, right. yeah. <laughs> it's it's very overwhelming when you look at it. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, what the fuck? <laughs> I know nothing about audio. I, I, I I'm that guy. Today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the Connor of this episode. I'm like, yeah, that's uh, that's letters that you're saying. Right now. <laughs> Actually, I know more for once. <laughs> for once, yeah. <laughs> well, um. I hate to say it, but Connor was kind of right with the whole Beeps and Boost thing a little bit. Oh, oh, oh we're getting into that already? <laughs> what? Yo. What? Yes. No, I'm, no. I hate to say it, but I like the noise is the most accurate way to describe how I feel about music as well. Right. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> you're a you're <laughs> literal musician. You do this for a living. Oh my God. Yes. My life has been a lie. Dude, like I remember, I remember when Connor first brought up the whole like Beeps and Boop shit. I was like, don't worry. Eventually when we get Kevin, he'll be on my yeah, side. Yeah, nah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I won't lie. I like open a bottle of gin and just started drinking after that <laughs> phase. I was just like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? At the same time, I was like, to be honest, like, yeah, maybe we'll go into like a little bit more detail about yeah. why the noise is nice, mm. but the, no yeah, the, the, no the noise is nice. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, it. That's yeah. it. It's just yeah. like, I like the, the things my ear is feeling. You know? yeah. I like hearing the noise. <laughs> yeah. It's but, just a soothing. But we should explore why. We should explore why. Uh, what? Why? 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 
<laughs> that's that's like that's a level that he's never crossed before. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, feel, is it, I feel like it's the most primitive way of experiencing music, like the way yeah. that it was just meant. Like, what you mean? Is, noise is there equals, any other way noise to experience equals music? Soothing. Well, because everyone, everyone wants to add this super kind of like deep art meaning, and I'm like, noise is nice. You know, like it's just kind of like I don't listen yeah. to a piece of music and feel any emotion. Yeah. I just take it in, and I'm like. This no, I mean we nice. all do, but yeah, we yeah, also yeah. it's that plus alpha for us, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. you know, it's it's not just the alpha, right? <laughs> like so, Yeah, best way maybe to describe it is like, okay, so noise is nice, but it's the noise the noise is nice because like certain things that are working together right, right, right. make yeah. said nice noise. Yeah. yeah, this is why I brought you on today to explain go. this concept <laughs> yeah. in the most in a, monkey in way a, possible, a not yeah. stupid way like I would explain. Yeah, it. yeah. well, I mean, because like it's it's just made up of like random kind of what's the word i guess sort of categories so it's like you got mm. melody you got harmony you got rhythm and stuff mm. like that you got yeah. texture texture is really really important so texture is like in my what, what is texture texture is <laughs> the, the sound quality the sound quality the quality that's, of a sound that's, that's like that's like you're sounding, feel, right? you're like, sounding like an alien right now i was like <laughs> what is this texture you humans speak of <laughs> no, I, I don't normally talk to musicians and normally when i hear someone talk about texture yeah. it's with like yeah. food yeah. or like with things that you or feel like touch. with your hands same concept. or touch. Like, yeah, right? the same it's thing, like, yeah. It's the exact same concept. It's like, okay, uh, fuck, okay. Uh, okay, you know the, um, I think it's Billie Jean, you know the- Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The drums, so yeah. The drum sound is super distinctive. Yes. Because it's tech, because you, anyone can play that beat and anyone can play that, like a drum like that. Right. But why does it sound, why do you know that it's that fucking song straight away? Because the sound of the drum. The textual quality the of this oh, the, the is specific and yeah. unique. <laughs> right. So that's the whole idea of texture. It's like texture, I think, is criminally, well, not criminally, and I can't pronounce that fucking word right now. But <laughs> <laughs> primitively. Uh, yeah, primitively underrated. Um, no, texture is like, I, I guess I would call it like kind of the secret ingredient. Mm, okay. Even though it's not okay. that secret, and you know, <laughs> it's 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 the spice that you add to make it all come together. It is all right, the yeah. right, the right. There's many spices. Yeah, many, many spices. We, I, I I see like we've inadvertently like separated the musicians on one side <laughs> and like right. the the apes on the other side. He's got like a glass panel here. Yeah, I think there's all the kind of say, don't don't fucking come near it. <laughs> Yeah. So, okay. I feel like we talk about anime. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get it. I get it. Okay, so you started, you know, doing, you know, writing music from a young age. You met Nobuo Uematsu. So, like, how did you then go from like that to, oh, now I'm writing music for Man of Beers? That's because, yeah. like, I feel okay. again, that's like not like one step process. Yeah, you know? uh, there were there were a couple of steps. So, right. so, so, okay. <laughs> Number one, how did you learn Japanese? Because I uh, assume you would need to learn Japanese to work in the so, anime. Yeah, right, so, right. I mean, obviously. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not this beautiful boy when it comes to that, but you know, I, I, I feel like I do fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I do well. And mm. um, so, yeah, I learned Japanese in Australia. There's this thing called TAFE, which is sort of a- um, you, Like you community call, college yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, it's like right. community college, like, a, like sort of a, yeah, non- like not, is, not yeah. university. Like, yeah. you, almost, you could treat it as like a pre-college almost at some time. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah, do like yeah. certificate level stuff. So okay, okay. like bachelor certificate, right? sort of underneath that. Mm. Yeah. So uh, I did that because um, I went to school at the West Australian Academy of Performing Arts, WAPA, as it's called. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> WAPA. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I went, to, I went to WAPA for three years doing composition <laughs> there. Yeah. Um, that was in Perth. But then um, at nighttime, I remember, I remember, I'm trying to imagine me doing this now, like going to school during the day and like yeah. go to school like during school during the night. night. And I was yeah, like, yeah. I do not have that energy. I do right. not have that energy <laughs> at all anymore. Yeah. Congrats on being Passionate 30, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome to the club, Kevin. Oh, yeah. Welcome I to am, the club. I am lit tired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't even use the jet lag excuse anymore. But, uh, oh, well. oh, well. No, so I went to this TAFE school mm -hmm. on like a uh, Thursday and a uh, so, wow, let's try that again. Tuesday and a Thursday. Yeah. No, Tuesday and Thursday. And on the middle day, the Wednesday, I would go with all the classmates that I, um, that, like, I was learning with and we right. would go to this seedy fucking bar yeah. in Northbridge, which is like kind of like the, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's the- uh, it's Seedy part of it, it, it is It is the like club crazy, like seedy, you know, Mm, blue right. sniffy sort right, of part sense. of Bopper. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I know, I, oh, I like, I, I've heard a lot of things about Perth, Perth? from every Australian no. I've met. And yeah. one, one, yeah. one pattern that I've seen from every Australian I've met from Perth is that they do not know, they no longer live in Perth anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know four, 
people, yeah. including you, yeah. who were born and raised in Perth, who yeah. are no longer in Perth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I, I do, I would say that if you've grown up there, there is like a, a certain like. It, I want to call, shout I'll, out to our fans in Perth. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, look, there is a certain like jovial sort of jokey aspect to like saying, "Oh, yeah, I'm from Perth." Fucking what? You yeah. Know, that thing. Yeah. But like. Once you leave, I think there is like a little bit of homesickness. Like I haven't okay. been. Oh, of course, of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. Canada, but I fucking miss it so much. Right, right, right. I might right. be there for two, two and a half weeks and be like, yeah, I'm cool. I'm, yeah, yeah. How do you feel? Bye, Felicia. But yeah. you know, right. until then, I'll, 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 I'm pretty homesick. Mm, but, right. Mm. But um, but like, yeah, it. So we went to this bar <laughs> in Northbridge because Perth is super, super popular with working holiday Japanese people. Oh, really? Like, super popular. Oh, I did not know yeah, that. Japanese oh. people love coming to Perth, and that's great. And it is. It is what it's worth, even though I just like kind of described like a, a suburb of Perth. I'm just like, like some yeah. fucking, I'm like, trying to wrap my head like, around what action. the reason that might Joe, be. Joe, Joey, like I, I've never seen that facial expression on Joey where he tried to understand either his Japanese side yeah. or his Australian side. Yeah. And he's just like, there is something that's, that's gone wrong in my both, yeah. both, both my Australian and Japanese side were like, that sounds like a lie. <laughs> as far as I can remember, it's not, but yeah, right. it's a, it's, I, I wonder mean, why though. Oh, uh, I, 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 honestly, sun. sun oh, sun and yeah, yeah. Sun, sun, sun and beaches. Right. Yeah. Fair. And wine. Huh. Oh, it's wine. Fair, fair, fair. That's yeah. why yeah. they don't come to the UK, huh? No. I really hear about Japanese people in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not really. Well, of course, like it's also very far away, but I guess so is Australia now that I think yeah, about Perth's it. Yeah, Perth's pretty fucking far oh, away. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like yeah, nothing. Yeah, 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 that's true. So there that's is like true. a connection between, there is a connection between Australia and Japan. There's, mm. uh, I mean, there's quite a lot of sister cities and stuff. Mm. Right, and right, right. And obviously it's like sort of the Australasia region. Sorry, yeah, too, yeah, sorry yeah. if that's triggering for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but um, no, the Australasia region is um, obviously, yeah. I think there's, there's a lot of, I mean, pre-COVID, of course, there was a lot of like kind of travel treaties and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, working holiday visas were rampant. Yeah, for lack of a better word. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but we would go to this bar and all the working holiday people because it was a shitty bar. But mm. on a Wednesday night, it would be international night. You mm. got ten dollar jugs, and which is like I think like seven <laughs> pound, seven pound like eight point five American dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And uh, yeah, you just get fucking wasted with uh, <laughs> awesome like working holiday Japanese people. And because obviously when you're a bit toasted, yeah, your, uh, your language confidence. Yeah, uh, right. Language of course. Speak, of yeah. course. Somehow it just raises up. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah. let's fucking konnich. Yeah, okay, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, so you would almost have like the two formal training days on each side. And then yeah. you'd have like the, the, the the real the, training day. The, the toasted yeah. night, yeah. 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 <laughs> and your brain would just like sponge it up. And, yeah, yeah. That was, that's how it started. And then actually like since, since COVID, we've been doing a lot more like kind of business meetings and stuff on Zoom and stuff. And so like my Kago has like gone way through the roof now because that's right. almost oh. like how I, I almost exclusively speak like sort of with that, almost, like almost like, I almost treat it as like a buffer. It almost feels like a buffer. If like, if you're not, right. if you're not like not sure how to speak to someone using the Kago almost feels like I'm just like, I'm just like, being safe. Yes, yeah. 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 Right, yeah. Right, 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 yeah. right. Yeah. You don't know where your like relationship is. Yeah, you just yeah, like, yeah, just yeah. Being polite. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like I'm just gonna avoid any like you know faux pas by yeah. being overly polite. Mm. Right. I, right, I did right. notice that actually because like uh, a couple was it a couple of months ago that I we did the Made in Abyss yeah. event. Yeah, yeah. Like because yeah. so I I did I co-host like a Made in Abyss event for mm. Made in Abyss mm. two and obviously Kevin wasn't there like in person but he was on like a Zoom call because yeah. there was like a segment where we were talking about the music yeah. for the show and you know obviously because it's a Japanese event so it's live stream to a Japanese audience. Yeah. Kevin had to speak Japanese for the entire part. Yeah. And uh, you know I hadn't heard. Kevin speak Japanese in a while, so I was like, "Oh, you know, hopefully, you know, he'll he'll he'll, so. he'll get through it." <laughs> yeah. And I was like, "Damn, he's kagoing the fuck up!" Like, I was like, <laughs> "He's like way too polite <laughs> in this entire thing." He's like, he's like talking to the fucking prime minister <laughs> levels. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, he's just like, talking about like the music. It's like, yeah, well, the problem is because I I I. I almost like lost the middle ground now. So it's like right, way right. too casual or it's way too formal. Right, right. <laughs> and I was like, just in because it's like something, something, something. Instead of saying like, yes or something, I'd be just like, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, like, that's just like you in a nutshell, right? Because like you, <laughs> one one thing you'll, you'll realize meeting Kevin is like, he's like the most humble 
a mm. nice person like you've ever met, you know. Mm. Nah, um, but then that, that that is until like he starts getting like a few pints in him. Yeah. And like I can always like you can always track how drunk Kevin is Kevin is by how much more Australian he is. <laughs> so at the beginning of the <laughs> at the beginning of the night, you're like you, you might not even know that he's Australian or, or yeah. something like because uh, he's like yeah. way too polite. Kevin Almost- is either extremely professional or extremely unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> there's no there's no middle. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like <laughs> what you're talking about. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's flip. Because <laughs> I, I remember, like, yeah, because you yeah. were saying, like, I definitely experienced that this weekend, right? Because, you know, obviously, yeah. like, during the convention, you know, we'd go out and have a couple of drinks and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. And it's like, uh, you know, that, that, uh, <laughs> That Friday night where uh, we're out, you know, drinking and uh, yeah. we got that Burger King at like two in the morning. Oh, yeah. And Man, bring that up. You want, you want that to be committed to YouTube? Bro? Yeah, <laughs> because like, you know, God was saying like, you know, you know, Kevin is drunk because he just gets like exponentially Australian. Right. <laughs> and I think that Burger King night was oh. the most Aussie I've ever heard. Kevin. I was so bitter about that. Burger. It fucking sucked. It was so that's, shit. That's Burger King. Yeah, I know. But like there was like a part, like first it was fucking 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's only so many old-fashioned I can I'm not expecting idea. you to make great decisions here. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. So, 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 to, so yeah. to explain, it's like it's like 2.30 in the morning. Obviously, everyone's like drunk and, yeah. you know, everyone's starting to get the, the yeah. little bit hungry, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's a Burger King there. And Kevin comes out with like a bag full of what he thinks is like a, just a light snack, right? <laughs> what he pulls out of the bag <laughs> is like the fattest double whopper that I've ever <laughs> I've seen it in my life. And he pulls it out of the bag and he's like, in the most Australian way, he's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and he's like, oh, fuck it. I've already bought it. It's whatever. So I just like, uh, this just like goes back to like the, that fucking Izakaya thing where I ordered too much. Can I just fucking hit the button? Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. hit the button. Oh my God. Like, oh my God. When you go through the links, you're, you're yeah. like, you're like, this is an amazing idea. Yeah, I, can, like, I can handle all of this. So, 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 so to explain that. So much uh, ambition. L- last so we went out uh, to Japan. We we yeah. we went to an izakaya, and then Kevin was like pretty hungry. You know, we 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 started drink before, but Kevin was like oh, we this we fucking time. yeah yeah we we, we we were hungry, <laughs> but we also like just a like, little bit tipsy. And Kevin thinks <laughs> Kevin thinks you know what's a good idea if I order one of everything on the menu. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like a four page menu. Just, it's, no, it's four pages of menu for just the chicken. <laughs> it was like four pages of menu for like the pork. It was like an onslaught. It, it did was, not stop. Yeah, <laughs> I've never had to like because it's a it's a fucking all you can eat. Like you can just do it. But yeah. like, at the same time, I was like, yeah, we we had like I was like I had to talk to the fucking staff member. And be like, can you? St- can, any, you, any can you food, stop? Any food like, that you have not physically cooked yeah. yet, stop it. Because <laughs> it, it was like there was like fifteen different livers, and I'm like, how do you even find this many livers? Like, I'm just, I'm done. You're gonna assault the shield. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so like, we, we, we learned that day. If we, we if we go to an izakaya and there's a tablet there, we can Don't, order. Never, never yeah, give it to just, Kevin because yeah. he's just like, oh, what does everyone want? And everyone's just like, oh, just, just whatever. Oh, and Kevin yeah. takes that too literally as everything. <laughs> But like, because you know, I think it's just because like you know, I haven't been back home to Australia in a while, yeah, right? And yeah. like you know, I have a couple of mates in Australia who are like very, very awkward. But like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, Kevin is like next level Australian, especially when he's Aww. drunk. So he was like, <laughs> a little perf, so like, a little perf comes yeah, out. so like you know, going back, it's like he like unwraps the double whopper, you right? Because he's like, he's already has it in his hand. He takes like three bites out of it, and he just goes, "This is shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is so shit." <laughs> I think I remember that. What was, what was shit about? You remember? It was so dry. It was like <laughs> so dry. It was so dry and it was so heavy. Yeah, it was like, oh, d- oh I fucked up. Okay. Like, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked because, like, in Australia, we don't have Burger King, we have Hungry Jacks. Hungry Jacks. Right. Yeah. 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 So it's like, you know, if Burger King was like better, it's oh, good. It's fucking, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Hungry Jacks is like, I would argue, way, way better than Burger yeah. King. Yeah, but like, but not by much. Not, I by, know, not by much, to be fair. Sorry, no, no, no. I, was, I don't know if I'm crazy, but I swear Burger King don't they like drench it in like sauce? Yeah. I wish it's so fucking dry. That would right, like good. the yeah. burger is like the most like skeleton esque burger yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, extremely this, anemic. Yeah, like, I, I had the snap the patty in half. Yeah, yeah. I had the chicken like uh, like there was like a long chicken burger type of thing, yeah. and uh, and it was like it was so it was like freeze dried. It was so yeah, fucking yeah. dry. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Bad tactical error. Yeah. 
yeah. that will hopefully not make it again. Yeah. But it's just so hilarious, just Kevin yeah. raging at a double yeah, whopper at 2.30 in the morning. I remember I've got a good friend back home. <laughs> I remember because I took him to this like really, like I, I, there's this Ankara bakery thing on, uh, it's called Beaufort Street in, in, um, in Mount Lawley. Beaufort Street? Beaufort Street. <laughs> yeah, there's a place, there's, a, there's an Ankara bakery on Beaufort Street in Mount oh, Lawley. In, <laughs> what did I say? This is Beaufort Street. <laughs> <laughs> Beaufort. I'm, I'm a child. Beaufort. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a child. All right. I, I, All I, of I, our I, eyes I, just I, like gleam. You're like, Beaufort? I'm going to blame, uh, I'm, I'm gonna blame the, uh, the, the dry London air. Yeah, yeah. Not very successful. Anyway, Beaufort Street. <laughs> but in Mount Lawley, in Perth, and like they do like really good kebabs, they're fucking oh, amazing kebabs. Right, but yes. my friend was not a fan of them. I remember because he took. <laughs> He said the same thing and he tried to throw it out and it and it exploded all over his car. <laughs> <laughs> so this egg just fucking went all over his body and shit. <laughs> and he tried to throw it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So oh I thought I brought that up. But I was yeah. Like, yeah, well there is like yeah, like, there's food rage. There's uh, there's a lot of food right. rage. So mm. so back, back to your music. Maybe you know what you should just the process. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get inspired yeah. by yeah. dry burgers. Have a fucking shit burger and go write some fucking angry music. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This burger yeah. fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh Is my god. Music? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you call like a track and shield here? Just like dry chicken salad. <laughs> 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 I have started going like more like psycho with the naming convention yeah, yeah. recently, so that might. Actually... I'm waiting for double whopper at two a.m. Yeah. <laughs> whopper and fries. Right? <laughs> double whopper. The names only appear in, like the soundtracks, right? They don't yeah, appear in the yeah. show, right? So you could just make. No, I mean, uh, if you're doing like an OP or an ED, they do have the opening. Uh, in the opening, yeah. where it's just, like, you know, yeah, yeah. You yeah. yeah, use blah. these tracks: <laughs> dry chicken sandwich <laughs> by <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Frank. Dry chicken sandwich. OP for rage. insert anime here. <laughs> <laughs> He was never heard from again. Yeah. <laughs> no, because I, I I did uh I did notice uh in some of your tracks in Shield Hero, like I think the first Shield Hero, oh, there, there were yeah, there were like we some it. weird names in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah actually, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get it out now because they were like they were like some some of like the usual suspect names of you know like generic anime music names, yeah. and then there was I just. So, so you go through this soundtrack list, and most of them are like you know normal. You know, yeah. you, you have a track that's called "The Rising of the Shield Hero," of, of course, course of the course. titular title. Yes. Of course, you know you have like some you know isekai type list uh, type track called like "Game Start" and stuff like that. And yeah. then you go down to like near the bottom, and then you, there's a track <laughs> yeah. called like "Spirit Bomb." And I'm like, huh? That that was that like a cheap Dragon Ball Z reference? Probably is. It's Kevin. Okay, we we can we can, <laughs> yeah. we can get away with that. Yeah. We can get yeah. away with that. And then, uh, then you're just like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, Kevin, are you kind of running out of names? And then you can hunt it even further. And then you just, there's a track just called Noms. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about, I forgot about that. And I listen to the track and I'm just like, this this name has nothing to do with the track at all. And yeah. then the, 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 you go next, it's like Matty Boy. Matty Boy. <laughs> just, um, I who's Matty Boy? I, I, who's Matty Boy? I, 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 I want to know. I can explain this. I, can, I, can, I, I can't explain the noms. I'm out on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up ahead on that one, but. Uh, no, that was a 2 a.m. chicken uh, sandwich. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I, I, it's like, I can really go for a BK it. right now. <laughs> noms. What was the first one you said it was? What was it? It was. Um, Spirit Boy. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, you watched the interview? Like with, um, with um, Franco and uh, yeah, Seth Rogen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the one that like got Sony mm, hacked by North Korea. Yeah. 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 No, no, because like when when they finally like shoot down Kim Jong-un in the movie. So yeah. Spoilers, yeah. Let it go. yeah. <laughs> Fucking Franco's character just goes, boom, 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 and like fires a tank bullet into the helicopter. <laughs> and that's the reference. <laughs> that's it. That's, <laughs> that's, that's it. That's it. What's it's that got to do with shield hero? Fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> is it even like a what? boomy track? It's just like. I can't know. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is a little bit. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the, like a battle thing. The yeah. track list. It was like 50 plus tracks. There's a lot. Yeah, that yeah. one. How yeah. many? That's many, that, that seems like excessive almost. It, well, I mean, because it was twenty six, <coughs> twenty five or twenty six episodes, so that right. that required. So basically, what happens is, um, as um, as um, yeah. I'm sure you all know, but just for clarity and all that sort of thing. So yeah. there's normally cores, so one core, two cores. Sort of mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so it, uh, so uh, like a season kind yeah. of. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah. one core is twelve or thirteen episodes. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two core is right. like 24, 25, okay, 26 okay, okay. episodes, something along that length. And so, uh, for example, Ben Bis is well main best season one of course is uh like 13 episodes so it's one, one core, core. Yeah. right yeah, right shield hero had 26 episodes you right. two core yeah so normally for two cores you kind of you don't double the music but you probably like 1.5 times it right okay. so um for main best um 
the um the this uh, the season one i think the soundtrack comes in at one hour and 52 minutes or something like that mm. right and i think it's about i think that was actually about 50 something tracks so like maybe 40 mid 40 tracks yeah. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. but then shield hero yeah it was about 60 62 tracks and it's about two hours and 50 minutes of music and is that like left up to you do you decide how many tracks you're making no or actually they're like hey we need 62 tracks make them all sound different. it's actually pretty specific so hmm. what basically happens is when you get commissioned to write anime music mm. you get a just basically a massive excel sheet called the called the music order yeah, yeah. so when you get the music order it's basically yeah just like you'll have like m1 like mm. music one and then it'll say like main theme and then like yeah. m2 mm. will be like main theme happy version and then, like, <laughs> and then like m3 will be main theme dark version or something yeah, like yeah, right, yeah right 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 four main theme hero version or something like yeah, that yeah 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 quite generic sort of like descriptions and they might have some explanation or they might have mm. some, you know, some visual images and stuff like that. So you actually get a lot of freedom, which I really, really like. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so if, if you think about how, like, cause they'll, they'll have all that sort of thing. And then maybe once you get to like M20, it'll be like battle one, speed battle. Or like battle yeah. two, oh. like serious, that's serious, that's all serious. We give you. Sometimes I mean we can get very specific okay. as well, but mm. like it'll start from that sort of like <clears throat> slightly more <throat> abstract sort of approach, which right. is actually really, really cool because that way you you actually do have a lot of kind of like I said, freedom to actually just try to explore different ideas as right. just like, a, like I guess and you get the freedom to call freedom. a track noms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess and the track name doesn't really matter, right? Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. because we. When you're writing it, um, uh, this has changed. Like my process on this has changed like a little bit since Shield Hero, admittedly. So I probably wouldn't do that again. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. it was that was good. a process. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, well, eventually. Uh, well, um, so um, when you're writing, uh, what what I like to do is is try and um, match a lot of like sort of the textual stuff I was talking about earlier. Yeah, I love trying to match text to the actual visual uh, sort of um, palette, if you will. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, best way, like one of the most sort of like sort of basic examples or classic examples I can give is uh, in Maiden Abyss, obviously like it's quite a small amount of like kind of kid characters going to like a huge like cavernous abyss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Instead yeah. of exploring, and also you see in the visuals, it's not, there's normally a lot of wide shots where you just see kind of the, the, the small, the small yeah, 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 yeah. You see, yeah, it just goes yeah, like super yeah. far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so like the idea of trying to actually depict that visual sort of stimuli mm -hmm. yeah. in music is, is quite appealing to me. It's sort of, um, yeah, almost like a, uh, it's called like word painting. Uh, which is basically like let's like, say you have lyrics and say i'm going to rise up and then the melody goes i am going to rise up it's oh, like okay. it's like mm, literally right. like rising with them it's right, like it's, rising with the shield it, it, right rising rising with the shield, with the shield. <laughs> well actually because in the main theme it like the the violin start part of the start does actually rise up and like, right, that. again right. it's like okay. it yeah. sounds so basic but it is good fun yeah, yeah. A, lot of, like, like, a, lot, a lot of the like court court stuff in made in the abyss also like it's all about dissension so you hear a lot of like normally it's going it's still only going down or up but like yeah which, yeah like the whole idea of like things rising and falling as best yeah. as possible so yeah, yeah. like one, one thing i've always wondered is pretty much how you how you like blew up onto the scene because i think like you blew up immediately um in terms of like sound in terms of being a composer which is like i i find it's really rare but i think a big part of that was just that opening scene in Made in Abyss, mm. where it was just like the instrumental with like the vocals as well, and it was just no dialogue. It was just like a montage, just using using this opening track, and it just mm. like immediately. It not only did it sell you on the show, but it just like put your work onto the map. Like, how did that mm. come about? Was that planned, or was that just like a happy coincidence? Um, I was like totally lucky and I'm, I'm glad it was um like almost because i i had a different track i had a much more subtle track in mind for that right um, mm. uh called um swings and roundabouts that was like kind of my original idea for that thing because it was it was supposed to be like oh let's, let's do these nice kind of really cool textures and stuff as, as the yeah. light kind of come o mm. comes over but then the sound director um and the director decided differently to to kind of because like you you don't write these unless it's a movie or it's a specific scene that's been requested to be written synchronized to picture yeah all the music is written what's called free right and then then it's synced later yeah, right. like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. so that that wasn't meant to be synced at Ori all originally the like my like vision of it was yeah. to be different but um uh the, the director and the um the director and the sound director obviously had a pretty deep discussion they decided yeah. to 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 put that song there and, and even better they decided to put it there with minimal dialogue and sound effects which yeah, is yeah. ridiculously like lucky yeah. yeah and so just to you know i guess just to like how does it, how do you even explain this it, it, to see that happen and to be so happily wrong 
about right, like what right. my vision was yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah. I think I was just like, oh man, thank God people are smarter than me. But, um, <laughs> like, cause that song, that song was written just as sort of an, uh, kind of uh, almost just like another, like trying to make another palette for the, for the soundtrack. Mm, cause um, mm. when you start it, you just kind of going through like point after point after point. It's like, okay, mm. well let's <clears> just try and pe- write a piece of music based off this manga panel. Or let's yeah. try and write mm. a piece of music based off this description or yeah. this idea, you know, obviously like reading through the, the content yeah. and stuff. And just mm. trying to see what happens. So I was thinking like, oh yeah, they must, what do they give you? I'm like, oh yeah, you can just go to the manga most of the time, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If, yeah, manga or in Tower of God, you got manga as well. Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That it's really, it, it really is helpful. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, 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 when 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 you're able to like kind of look at what is well, essentially you can just see the entire story kind of pan out obviously you're given like anime specific materials as well which mm. is super, super helpful mm. yeah but um yeah when you're just trying to find something that actually kind of hopefully uh, like what's the best word respects the content mm. as well yeah yeah, yeah. Because, um <clears throat> you know you you're kind of creating you're adding an audio element that was not there before yeah. whereas the manga mm. might be there before so there might be reference that you know people might be able to reference the anime to the manga and say, yeah. okay, well, this is similar, this is different, some of that. Right. The music never existed. So yeah. um, mm. it's both freeing and also kind of terrifying to, yeah. you know, potentially that's, that's mess that up. Mm. Yeah, that's the same. Cause like when I saw that scene, I was like, this is so perfect for this opening scene. Yeah. It mm. must have been like specifically made for this one scene. Right. It Damn. was made around, it was made around <laughs> like scenes like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it, yeah I, I would almost describe it more as like, it was almost an impression of the show itself. Yeah. Mm. Did you? Did you feel like, because that was your first, was that your first anime work? No, sir. It was, oh. uh, that's my, Jesus, man, that was my third. That was your third? Yeah. That was your okay. third. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So no, the first one was, uh, it's always the same company, Kinema Citrus, but uh, right. we did uh, something called Norn 9. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? Uh, so uh, Norn 9 is, well, actually it was a video game and it was actually a video game I did with Uematsu like way back when. Huh. So he did the oh, theme for that. I did okay. the GM for, for this game called Norn 9. Right, right, right. right, right. And a couple of years later when I started doing anime for this company called Kinema Citrus, they said, we're actually doing an anime of Norn 9 as well. Right. And so that, I, I didn't- So I, you were I, like the natural pick I thought, yeah. yeah, maybe that was it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe that was it. Cause like, <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah. I guess the, you know, it makes sense to get the guy who did the game. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Shit. yeah. Yeah, I didn't oh. think about it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that not obvious? No, uh, okay, like, yeah, it's, yeah, as I sit here now in my fucking yeah. 30s, just fucking <laughs> sipping sparkling water. You're like, wow, what a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. No, but what, what like- What happy little coincidence. Like that wasn't like a five head observation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I was like- <laughs> I'm a cum bitch. <laughs> um, oh, okay, no, wow. So, uh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah. I just apologize for microphone one. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You don't this is exactly to, why this thing to, is to right the here. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a shock absorber. 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 Yeah. Absorber. <laughs> It's I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go yeah. home now. I'm gonna go home now. Um, so you did Norn 9? I was doing Norn 9, but at mm-hmm. the same time, maybe this is why I didn't think about it. I was also doing something called Under the Dog, which was a, uh, yes, OVA, a, a yeah. Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Oh! Yeah. Yes, a Kickstarter OVA, and that, was te- that came first. And so I just, yeah. yeah, I didn't know like how everything kind of progressed, but um, I was on that for the trailer music, and then they asked if I wanted to do the actual soundtrack. Yeah, so right. that was so cool because that was like the fir- that was the first one mm. that was fir- i was like oh wow like, I, I had no idea I was, I was like well happy about that yeah, yeah. Was, like, i've been like you know just fucking for lack of a better word fantasizing about fucking trying to do anime for yeah years. yeah, 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 yeah. Been lucky enough to do games for a couple of years yeah, like, yeah. oh my god i'm yeah. so, so happy about that yeah i was in college i just finished college in, in london so i was living here at the time i had no idea what was going to happen and all mm. of a sudden boom like like we were, now you're an anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, so I am you, the, were, yeah. you were composing for games while in college. Yeah. What so when fuck? I did, um, I was when I was doing undergrad. That's when I started doing lots of stuff, and then that developed with other wow. games, both uh, Japanese and and so you were um, busy international. In school. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think I don't know how I did it because I, I mean, it, again, maybe <laughs> I'm, maybe, maybe we'll get to the bottom of this while talking to you. Yeah. yeah you like obviously got track. I'll make another like, five head and observation. Just like, like, just like, like, like therapy times three. Therapist times three. It's like, oh my god, everything makes sense. It's all connected, man. It's all connected, dude. <laughs> nah, um, but yeah, so I was working throughout college as well. Um, and yeah, this, I, it just happened. I mean, I was just working, mm-hmm. like, just work, 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 and mm. just, you know, I, I, just, fell, just fell, fell over and just happened. Yeah, yeah. 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 and fell into, so yeah, the insane. anime. Like, yeah. Most people don't, me, me included, don't do anything while at college. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were about to say don't anything. Like, don't like in general. Like, general. I was like, don't, don't you dare go down that route. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring out yeah. those compliments straight away, son. <laughs> okay, yeah. so like now what I want to know actually is like how you and Gaunt got to know each other. Because like I kind of I kind of met you guys through that, right? Yeah, like yeah, I yeah. met you through Gaunt and whatnot. Um, so yeah. like it's like, where, where was the connection uh, there? Uh, 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 that, that's, that's a pretty simple connection. I hope yeah. you yeah. remember it. I have, I, have a, I have like a, a, a pre-story. Okay, which okay. connects to that, right? Right. Um, so I, I think I might have like drunkenly mentioned this to Sydney or something potentially, but mm, I haven't. Yeah. I don't think I've mentioned it to any of you. At least I don't remember mentioning it. Mm, um, yeah. So I actually like when I was like going through like college and stuff. I like totally <laughs> fell out of anime. Right, like, I was, right, like, right. Not watching it. Mm, yeah. Like I remember when I was I was watching like, all the Ghibli stuff and whatnot and, and some shows. Mm. Like some really important shows to me, like kind of just to get into the mm -hmm. anime kind of fandom to begin with when I was like right. 14 or so, then okay. fell well out of it, just kind of went totally on the ground for mm. a long time. And then what brought me back was doing Made in Abyss uh, because uh, I was like, you know, it's like one of those shows where like creatively it was the first time I felt like, oh, I'm actually doing music that really feels like me sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, mm. like, I'm, I feel like I'm bringing like a lot of the sort of more experimental stuff that I learned in um, primary school, uh, in uh, undergrad. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And then like I did my master's in London and then that and that was sort of like honed like film music craft a little right, bit. Right, right. So what was your uh, degree in, sorry? Uh, I did a Bachelor of Composition and Music Technology at the West Australian Academy of Performing Arts. And then I did a Master's of Music for Screen, Composition for Screen wow. at right. the Royal College of Music in London. Oh, oh okay. damn. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry, I'm okay. No, no, yeah, we can, yeah. we can, we can, mm. uh, I can drop. I can yeah. drop. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot that I have a fucking MA. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, but um, no, uh, I mean- Well, you're going on on Warp for so long. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, I also have a Master's in there. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, RCM was awesome. I mean, they, it really kind of like honed the craft. Mm. That's why I was like, mm. yeah, stuff yeah. and uh, just like learned how to like produce music for film. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. But uh, Whopper like focused a lot more on experimental music or new music, uh, a lot of art, art music. A lot, uh, <laughs> when you said Whopper, I thought you were talking about you were <laughs> going Burger. Back to the Burger King. Whopper. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was on a binge just eating a bunch of Whoppers, know, experiments with know, music. I know. <laughs> <laughs> sounds pretty accurate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, nah, like it just kind of all came together for this, mm. like this, yeah. this project. Right. I just, yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, God bless Kingdom and Citrus, man. They just gave me so much, so much freedom. So mm. much, like, mm. kind of, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, such, yeah, like, yeah. Kind of birth to just kind of actually just kind of try some things that yeah. like, I didn't know I could do it. And I felt really good actually just kind of going through that process of, going, yeah. well, I can, I can, oh, I, I remember like that violin technique I've never like tried before and mm, right, try that right. sort of thing. And, like, mm. Oh, I can try and like record in this giant space in Vienna mm. that like yeah. can, can try and mimic like the the size of the abyss sort of thing. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, trying yeah. those sort of techniques that like were just introduced to me either through undergrad or postgrad. Right. It was just really nice. Yeah. Mm, really yeah. nice. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was the question? <laughs> how, how are you and Garmin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. There is a point to all this. Yeah. There is a, I promise there is a point. Okay. So on the back of those feel goods, you know, doing yeah. this, mm -hmm. yeah. um, I was curious, okay, how is the show doing? Yeah. Right. And I would type in, in, you know, the- You Googled yourself. I, you Googled no, yourself. no, no. I Googled made the abyss. Okay. I Googled okay, abyss. Okay. I was like, okay, is it, you know, how is it, you know, yeah, sort yeah. of thing. And all these YouTuber guys were, were starting <laughs> to talk about it. Okay. I'm like, oh, okay. They're talking about it. They're, yeah. they're liking it. Mm. And then um, you made this video yeah. about like which music, or what, 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 what was your favorite anime and what, and what I type? think it was like one of my, the anime of the year kind of thing. Yeah, where I did like a yeah, anime of the year. Right, right. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, like I, you know, you had like the art category and the animation category and then you yeah. had the, the music category. <laughs> yeah. And you made this like great joke, like about the fact that I was Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> no, cause <laughs> yeah. there, was this, there was this one clip that got posted yeah. Yeah. in like yeah. the behind the scenes documentary of Made in Abyss. And right. of course it's like very professionally made documentary. And then there's just this one clip of Kevin going to be like, he he was talking to someone yeah. and he, I, I can't remember the exact line, but he yeah. talks about, oh yeah, can uh, uh, this the, he's like you you, th you refer to someone as like a mate or something like that, yeah. right? Yeah, I, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, um, Dimitri was the guy I was talking to. Right, he, he's this uh, amazing. He's he's like the main violinist and all the abyss stuff. Right, so he, right. He is 
like the bosses of bosses when it comes to right, the right, he is right. Unbelievable. His big dude boys are wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like he's like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. Tra- trying. It's good. Sorry, I don't do a good impression of him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he, he is a we don't know to be. Just I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more discovering my life. <laughs> but um, so because um, yeah, I was. I was because I don't play violin, I play flute. Yeah, right. So I checked with college friends before going over. I'd be like, yeah. is this shit? Is this fucked up? If I give this to someone in a recording studio. Because yeah. obviously, remember, like when you go into a recording session, that's fucking thousands of euros or dollars, whatever it is, like a fucking hour. Like, yeah. Uh, we're talking like five figures easily in a couple of hours. Yeah. Like, or any hour, some depending on how many people you're hiring. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Super expensive scenario to be like, oh, the flute player wrote fucking stupid fucking violin lines. Uh, so checking with friends or yeah, mates beforehand yeah. was exactly what I did. Oh, and I was trying to be chill about it. I was yeah. like, yeah, no, no, I just checked with like a mate and like that, the, but the friend's <laughs> mate, he did not understand. He's he's he's, um, he's, he's Austrian American. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he's like, check with what? I'm like, oh, with a, oh, with a friend. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, like yeah, it was in the behind the scenes. Yeah, it was yeah. in, in, in behind the scenes. But like, they can't like fucking superimpose uh, land down under over, yeah. the, <laughs> over that fucking clip. Yeah, I mean, I checked with a mate, but he seemed to say that was okay. Checked with a what? With a, with a friend. Okay. And, uh, but, but for some reason, it felt really cool to have like that, you know that uh, re- response from yeah. this YouTuber fucking oh, guy, yeah. and like, so actually, like, and then I started getting really curious about okay, that this lovely gentleman over here is thinking like this about you know maybe mm, this yeah. who else is thinking about, like what what is everyone else thinking mm, about? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like fucking Anatube is where the reason I got back into anime. Oh shit, man! No shit! Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Anatube is doing a positive <laughs> thing to someone something yeah. for the anime industry. Yo, you guys brought it like <gasps> brought me back, and Holy then fuck. once Abyss hit, we went started going to conventions, and then I saw that you were gonna be there. I was like, yeah, oh, I must. I must say hello. Yeah, because, right, you know, right, right. I've, I've been enjoying the ones. yeah. yeah. I've, I've been enjoying the content. I have yeah. ever since. Yeah. No, because like, I, like I remember because we were both going to Control Expo, and I was like, "Oh, Kevin's going." And you know when you like, I don't know why, right? You just, you just, you just like bring out this aura of just like. He's a lad. He's a, <laughs> he's a fucking lad. <laughs> and he, uh, all, that, that was extrapolated just from that one clip. That's like, <laughs> oh, I check with the mate, and then he yeah. goes, check with the what? And, then he, and just, you just see the panic being like, oh, 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 check, check, check with the friend. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's equal parts resting bitch face and spastic. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, from the one clip, I was like, seems like he seems like a lad. Yeah. Uh, I th- uh, of course we met at the first time at like the bar or something. Right. right, right. And I was yeah, up- it's like a yeah. Yeah. Where, yeah. Where, yeah. More fitting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> where 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 is a more fitting place than yeah. meeting meeting each other at the bar? And I I it's was. Like, are you gigic? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was like I was like prepared to be like, are you Kevin? Oh my god, I'm like a big fan of your work. Made in the best was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Lo and behold, Kevin comes up to me and taps me on the shoulder. Yeah. And I like like at this time, you know, Annie Chi, I, like Annie Chi was like way smaller than it is now. Mm. So like I, I'm just like a random guy who got just like invited to this anime expo yeah. been really excited to meet people in the industry people mm-hmm. who just actually worked on anime and then kevin tap, tap, taps me on the shoulder and be like are you gigguk i fucking love your work i'm like why are you saying this to me i'm i should be saying this to you it's true no but that's the thing i came from the from the exact same position I'm right just like, oh, right right I'm just happy to be there. i'm not happy to meet people I yeah met, i met really i mean because of that show, I'm here. Yeah, right, yeah. right, you know, right, we right. Had, we we got to get. get and I don't, now I got like and we yeah. and the, yeah. it's like well, my, now my it's first, us. My first time meeting you is when you ordered too much chicken, so that was <laughs> that was a bonding experience. <laughs> no, I, was gonna say, I was gonna say we can, yeah, we can. Because yeah, tra- trauma is very, very yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> trauma is very I'm, good. I'm, bonding. I've never been back to, to that chain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <we're, laughs> well, the, well, the first time I met you was at a Nizakaya in uh, in Shibuya, and oh, that yeah, was, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. were just like, oh, you want a new long high? <laughs> <laughs> and at first I was like, who is this bloke? And then I was, and then I realized it's I mean, fucking like, Kevin. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, like four Magnus sizes in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so of course like Crunchy World Expo, we like immediately bonded over fucking getting pissed as a, yeah. a British and Aussies do. Oh, of course. But like, I remember course, you got to a point of, of drunkness where you started like spewing some really interesting shit about your creative yeah. process of Made in the Abyss. I, I did that last night too. You did that last <laughs> night to me, yeah. yeah. Where he like, for some reason, there's like a, a certain drunkness level where Kevin gets really eloquent about talking about his creative process <laughs> in music. And he was talking about this one track, which 
uh, which was played over like a very spoilerific moment in Made in the Abyss yeah, season yeah. one. Yeah. It was a very emotional moment, mm-hmm. and he was talking about like using like juxtaposition and like techniques that he learned from like yeah, university and yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> university and college. And I was just, I, I remember being like, I was pretty toasted. I was just like, this is really fucking interesting. I just really like, as like an anime fan, I would love to hear this when I'm sober because I'm like not remembering any of this. <laughs> So like I, I I put a mental note to ask him about it the next day when I'm sober and so is he so we can explain in more detail. Yeah. It's really fucking interesting. So I go to Kevin. I was like, Kevin, you were made talking about this track and made in the abyss and like how you came up with that and what process you did. Yeah. Like, can you like expand on that? Because that's really fucking interesting. Yeah. And he just looks at me and goes, I have no idea what the fuck I said, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, he like Kevin. Kevin did that to me on yeah. Friday. He went <laughs> he went off about this one synthesizer for like two hours. He's like he's like. Like, you don't understand when you put your finger on it it's like 50 springs 50 springs <laughs> on your finger and it feels amazing it's amazing <laughs> it's like velvety and it feels so good and I'm just like uh huh yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine putting your finger on um, like you know um, like di- divers uh, like not skin divers skin <laughs> divers. <laughs> Um, like a wetsuit. Uh, what diver? What, yeah. So there's a. I got a synth that's made out of diver wetsuit with all these different springs underneath, and you play it like a seaboard. So you can like you play synths and stuff, but it's like a legato yeah. sort of thing. So right. the future, assume I know what a seaboard. Is. <laughs> oh yeah, so I'm bad. Uh, imagine a piano, but with no keys, and it's just a line. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a seaboard. Yeah, <laughs> like. Like that. Imagine oh, doing that with a piano. Yeah. Oh. Is, 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 is that Damn. the thing that they did like the fucking jerk it out meme on? What? what? <laughs> oh, fuck. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> No, you know, it's one of the do, 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 No, 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 not that, what? not what is, that, what not is that. that? What is it's that? like, okay, imagine that, but instead of a pen, it's your finger. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This okay, is okay. a pen. <laughs> 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 pen this. Pen can this. Yeah, yeah, so he was going off about that right. for like what felt like two hours. And mm-hmm. it was really interesting, but I was in this exact same situation. I was like, I'm really hammered. <laughs> this is really cool. You're showing me all these like YouTube videos in this like really loud bar and I'm like having to do this. <laughs> Yeah, it's like really like specific, kind of yeah. like um, quite nuanced sound. Yeah, yeah. Like, a, like I was like, oh, it's a 43 minute video. Just let me scrub for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just, yeah. But it's good I, to hear. It's like great when you're hearing someone who's like so passionate about something. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, yeah. to be fair, like I, I, I do actually fucking love it. Like, you know, yeah. it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I might like joke about it a little bit. Yeah. But like, oh, I don't remember how this fucking happened. But you know, as, it's like, it. it's like, at least like, you know, as like a fellow musician, I understood yeah. majority of what you were saying. I can't imagine what it was like for Garn, right? It's just like hearing all these like musicology terms. <laughs> and just like be you, like, mm-hmm, yeah. Have you ever heard a moose? <laughs> something like that. Exactly. <laughs> like, I was like, is, is that something I should know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, think I don't I asked, know why I chose a moose. Yeah, yeah, I, I asked about like the Doom soundtrack and you were telling me about how oh, they said, yeah, yeah, to, yeah, to compose it, he got some Russian synth, and I was like, oh, I was like, I just, you were telling me, yeah. that. And I, I was like, I was like, I was like, yeah, two com- yeah, yeah, in my head, I was like, I was like, I understand that the it being from Russia could add to the sound of it right. sounding yeah. more doom. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I was just like, I mean, in my head, I'm like, does, does the Russia have a lot of influence on the synth being like more dooms esque? <laughs> <laughs> like, is the soundtrack of Russia just doom? Like, oh, so, so yeah. I, I feel like I like once I tired you out, I like went yeah, next, yeah, he to was the <laughs> next victim. Because <laughs> we were like, so let me tell you about Russian synthesizers. Yeah, I, I was like, I was like, I don't know any synthesizers, yeah. but I'm open to hearing. Um, yeah. no, so the Polyvox is a uh, Soviet era synthesizer that um, it's it's about 50 kilograms and it has like the, one of, one of the most gnarly yeah. fucking sounds. Because you got to think of okay, the synthesizer is basically, I mean, among other things, it's voltage being put through an oscillator. Okay, so right. So it's like it's a fucking biblical sound it is uh, beautiful and you, the way that you can shape these oscillators and then filter them through different effects oh. and stuff makes a synthesizer's character come okay. out so okay. like yeah. the different types of processing that you have this the oscillator. i mean you can just listen to the oscillator be an oscillator mm, but at right. the same time the, the way that it's processed through certain other like kind of effects and boards in a synthesizer mm, mm, right. gives it a certain Unique character. This, this is exactly how he sounded the other night, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Very eloquent yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. But like, you know, in the same way, like you have like a guitar, right? And oh, you have different right. makes of guitar. Right, and right. Different types of guitar, like, depending on how it's made, the pickups and stuff like that. Yeah. It'll have a different characteristic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Think of it like that, but electricity. 
Okay. Mm. Yeah. Right, right. And so this particular synthesizer that yeah was was used in the in the Doom soundtrack, and I I, I would love to get one, but like they're no, they're not easy to get get yeah. on. Yeah. Right? It's like they are dated instruments now. Yeah. But that is dated. So is your house just uh, filled with just Man. instruments and synthesizers <laughs> and a bunch of other random stuff that I, you use? Yeah. So um, my fucking I guess call it both a quarter life crisis and like my pandemic kind of like. Depression, pandemic crisis yeah, <laughs> right right depression fucking fuck covid sort of like yeah <laughs> outlet was just to fill this room with just all this fucking shit to just mm, record yeah it. yeah and like it's it helped <laughs> it helped a lot yeah i mean i saw you tweeting about it constantly right oh, yeah. so i'm like yeah it was yeah. all but like that's the problem is that like all it took was for me to ask about this like one <laughs> one particular synthesizer that i really liked it's all i all i said was so kevin i heard you bought a moog and, and then and then he just went off for two hours <laughs> so let me tell you my life story yeah <laughs> now we always think like what's the opposite of you know the horse girl well apparently it's the synthesizer guy it's the synthesizer guy <laughs> 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 the still, synth guy. I'm still trying to figure out why I tried to make you think about what a moose sounds like. <laughs> I don't know why I picked that. See, this is the problem. It's like I'm too sober. It's funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm not making it. enough sense. Yeah. yeah, I'm not making enough sense. Yeah, there's like a little gray area where yeah. Yeah, between like dysfunctional and functional. I think yeah, functional yeah. And dysfunctional. I don't, again, why just, would I just, just decide just now that, yeah. 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 yeah, I know yeah, everything yeah. upside down is up. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm a bit afraid to ask after what we've just talked about, but <laughs> what, is, what is your creative process? Do you, do you have one? <laughs> right. <That's such> a... <laughs> um, Cause I'm sure you have like the, the answer prepared for like when you get asked that on a panel and like, I, I hear you ask, uh, ask yeah. that question on the panel and I'm just like, that that is not like the Kevin that <laughs> right. I know. So uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> So it's kind of weird because um, because I don't like I haven't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's probably he's buffering. He's buffering. Right? <laughs> he's buffering. <laughs> like the, and like the, what is yeah. it? The, and like the old oh, DLR, whatever DLR, yeah. the DSR, whatever it's called. A DLR is something like <laughs> My bad. Um, my bad. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is the process, right? This, now. Is, this is the process. Fucking having some fucking stroke on. Camera. <laughs> <laughs> this is your kid. This is it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. How much usable content we're actually yeah. making? <laughs> it's all cut. It's yeah, all yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, like... it's a one minute super cut. Video. Yeah. <laughs> he left the end. Um, so is, is it the beeps and the boops? No. You... Well, well, yeah. So um, it it comes from like it comes from many places. Right. <laughs> I can't make that sound good, so I'm just going to meme it. But um, so let's say, for example, one one way is that I've. Um, I've like woken up in the middle of the night. I had like some sort of fucking weird fever dream, but then I'm yeah, woken yeah. up with like some sort of melody in my head. Yeah, I'll write it down as like almost like a musical Morse code on like Evernote because I got like Evernote and I love music. Right. Yeah, and I'll do like a little moment where it's like B dash dash is like B for two beats. So I yeah. write like a tempo and maybe like a like a like a mm. tempo. You wake or, up yeah. thinking about melodies. Some only like sometimes, wow. but then the problem is I'll like write it down and be like. Oh, it's fucking good. I'm gonna go back to sleep now. I'm gonna wake yeah. up nice and early after I've had a nice rest, and you know, just like get get to work. And I wake up and like, oh, it means fucking nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to like reinterpret what I like wrote. The like, mental, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I used to do that as well, yeah. and but now yeah, so now when I same. but now yeah. when I do it, yeah, I just sing into my phone. So uh, the next yeah. morning I wake up and I'm just like, it's just like audio <laughs> of me just like. <laughs> it's like really quietly at like three in the morning. Aki must think I'm fucking psychotic because <laughs> I'm just singing to myself at three in the morning. I mean, yeah. I mean, to be but honest, it helps. It yeah. yeah. I mean, another way that I like start a piece of music would be like literally just try and like find a cool sound or a cool like. Mm, right, right, right. So right. yeah, whether it be like sort of one of the uh, sort of uh, one of the. Uh, Therapy synthesizers that I that I decided to get. <laughs> right. yeah. Which or, synthesizer yeah, should yeah, I yeah. use today? Well, yeah. you know, learning up, learning up Logic Pro, and just being like, fuck okay, right. let's let, let's fuck around and just see what happens. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It's a little cheeky little piano sometimes. It's nice. And, Stop yeah. playing stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's just like well, most of it shit, but then eventually like, you get something that's like, <laughs> okay, it's not too shit that I couldn't come back and like refine it later. Mm. Right, like, right, it might, right, you know, right. it might be a little bit of a riff or something sometimes yeah. stuff like that. But so <laughs> like. Um, Let's take uh, let's take um, the rising of the shield here main theme. Mm, At the right. start, it's just like sad piano. Boom, dun, dun. It's just like sad piano. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. But then you have um, this this violin coming coming in, going. Yeah, yeah. And it kind of 
but it rises up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> That's the Mario thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't remember that in the Rise of the Shield hero. <laughs> no, I would be, I would be very out of work. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I've come with this. Nintendo great lawyers <laughs> knocking at your door. Like. I, was trying, I was trying to do like the but um, sort of like, what's the melody version of that? Yes, that yeah. Really not. Um, I'm sorry, people. I'm very sorry. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah, 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 sorry. Much, I'm, I'm too sober yeah, for I, this. I didn't come prepared. Like, like my blood alcohol is not of of a, of a, of a par. Yeah. Okay, so the right yeah. of the shield here. Yeah. So the kind of yeah. starts. Mm. That was where that. So I would start with that and try and work around that. Right. So, mm. like, I guess you could think of it as like. You know, you, you create like one little line and then you create another little line that kind of connects to that. Mm. And so it kind of just slowly becomes like a sort of a bit more of a complicated kind of beast. It comes like right. patchwork type of yeah, thing, right? Yeah. And then like you right. kind of like go back to like kind of fill in and refine. Damn. Right. So like maybe I'll have like a structure or something or I'll have like, you know, most of a structure or something uh, to work with. And then I'll just kind of sit back and be like, okay, what sucks? What needs to be changed? And just kind of refine. Mm -hmm. Almost like um, something like uh, is it drench fishing. What's it's like, that? It's, like, <laughs> it's, it's where it's where like they the oh, you just throw like, the net yeah where it's like it's like a net it's like, and they oh. just kind of drag the sea like the the, the the seabed and let's kind of pick up fish like that way. it's like a filter process where you just dra drench dredge, 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 dredge. dredge that was dredge. the that was the loudest like five seconds of silence ever on the show <laughs> yeah, that was like that was the loudest silence I've ever heard in my I life I, I was trying to process I think like, I was trying to, it was just like I think I was, yeah I was trying to say dredge but then I thought of like the Mariana Trench yeah yeah I was like Combined well, welcome like, to the fucking like Freudian drench. nightmare that is my head. Dredge fishing, <laughs> yeah, dredge fishing. Right, but like right. you think of that as like, but you just like going through, you're listening, mm, you're listening. Yeah, yeah. You're just, I don't mm. know what this action is anymore. Uh, yeah, and yeah. then you just kind of refining, refining, refining mm. until right. you kind of can't find any more like flaws, so to speak. Right, to right, try, right. Try or you run out of time, but right. Yeah. Do you kind of like? Scary. Do you kind of like show those like unfinished or like you know combed through pieces to like other yeah. people to get like a second opinion, or oh, do you kind of just all like the time, all the time? There's oh, like yeah. a there's like a few kind of like kind of core people where I'll be like, hey, so yeah, just tell yeah. Me. right. Yeah. Just be honest. <laughs> just, be yeah. honest. Just, just, just tell me. Yeah, tell but, me real. Uh, yeah. What's the track and you wrote like and you just like this one's the banger. This one's a fucking banger. I can't yeah. wait to hear this. This 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 is I, the one that will explode my career. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think like that. I don't think oh, like that. Okay. Um, what what I normally like more, what I gravitate more in terms of like being confident about a track mm. is mm -hmm. kind of the process of it. Yeah. Um, mm. Here's an example that I can't tell you like now, but mm. like last night. But um, like let's let's take like Made in Abyss uh, season one for example. Right. Mm. Um, there's a track that I mentioned earlier called Swings and Roundabouts, and it involves a really cool sort of arpeggio style playing, uh, a playing technique um, called arpeggiation on a violin. So normally when you play a violin, and I'm sorry, any violinists out there are about to fucking hate me because like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna explain what a violin does like as a flautist and it's gonna <laughs> suck. But um, if you think of it, because normally you see a violin, they, they play one or two strings at the time and then they mm. normally like, change their fingers like that. Um, one of the techniques that I really enjoyed was where they put fingers in all four strings and then just kind of bow up and down um, mm. on, on all four okay. strings right. and almost make like a chord. Mm. So it's, well, if you do like that, it doesn't do much, but you go one, two, three, four, back, one, two, three, four, okay. right, right. So it's like this kind of cool kind of chord sort of thing. And, and you can play it quite, they play it very, very fast because mm. they're yeah. fucking good musicians. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then you can change that all the time. So you can almost, you almost like, Whoop, whoop, and you're mm. kind of changing chords all the time and right. you can make like these really cool like because yeah. it's a very shimmery sort of texture but um i did that on one violin and then i had in, in abyss season one we had three violins three viola two cello and one bass and mm. they're all, all of them playing like solo parts so it's like nine solos mm. together right, right, and right. they're all playing these different chords like arpeggiated chords together and it's called it's sort of making this bit of this sort of concophony mm. of like sounds and stuff mm, yeah. so like Doing those sorts of things 
makes me feel good about that track. It's like, oh, I got to explore this kind of crazy thing. I got right, to like kind of make this. Right, right, yeah, exactly. Right. It's like, mm. oh, I got to like kind of explore that and it didn't fucking fail. It's, it's yeah. And it sounds good. Yeah. yeah. It sounds great. Mm. Yeah, and that, that and I like Damn. the I like the noise. Yeah, I, nice. this is so alien to me. Like you're, you're explaining all this stuff and it literally just sounds like another world. Like it doesn't sound like a, <laughs> a, a thing it's, that I can even comprehend, right. but I appreciate it. Cause you know, I, I know you're making sense. Yeah. It's just like, to me, I have like <laughs> such engineering and math brain. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. way I approach everything and like, it's very like, okay, yeah. I just do it. Mm. I do it. There's nothing that's like just a gut feeling. Right. There's no experimentation. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 No, you know, well, you, I mean, well, the, I mean, there needs to be a part of that in, 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 in this process right. as well. Because right. I mean, experience means that you can execute these ideas. Yeah, true, like, true, even, true. like you yeah. can have, yeah, I've, I've had like, crazy fucking ideas I have no idea how to do and I still don't. Yeah, so I was gonna, like, I was gonna ask, yeah, yeah. well you said something earlier and I was yeah. like, how do you convince, so you, like you said, mentioned that you're in like a, a chapel or something and you're recording like yeah. an orchestra or something. Right. Uh, how, how do you go like, Hey, 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 higher ups. Um, yeah. I have this idea. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to rent out a church somewhere in Austria. Could we ship uh, and get a bunch of violinists and all the people yeah. there? Um, yeah, it might it might work out. Let's just see how it right. goes. By yeah. the way, it's $100,000 <laughs> for two hours. The, the, uh, the might part is definitely not something that I translate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, um, it's definitely yeah. going to work. It's definitely going to work. I mean, like, first, like, first off, thankfully, there's, there's trust. So like that, right. Right. I mean, right. proven you're, you're proven that you, yeah, a little bit of trust. Yeah. But um, so obviously, like when you when you start a project, you you give it a budget, mm -hmm. right. and uh, you know the budget, you know sometimes you can like kind of stretch it a little bit, and you know you can do some little, little bit of black magic just to get some deals. Does, and stuff is to budget make it work, like <laughs> this might sound stupid? Is budget, and then you get your pay separate, right? That's like completely. Yeah, yeah. It, so it like you have to decide. No, there's like, no, there's like, there's make it all in one. No, there's a composer's fee, and then there's a right, right. Okay, that makes sense. Production fee. Okay, that makes sense. Right, pretty standard. But um, so uh, when we were able to kind of like explore this idea of using Maiden Bist as an example, like yeah, we were trying to explore this like this massive studio uh called the Synchron Stage in Vienna, which I think it fits like 135 musicians. It's a massive wow. room. It's yeah, got, like, I'm pretty sure it's like a football field, if not slightly more. Like, it is I understand big. that yeah. metric. <laughs> yeah, a football. Yeah. Oh, it's no, like there we go. <laughs> and it's, it, like, it's got a really unique sound profile, and so you can stick like a really small amount of musicians in there, and it will sound fucking huge because they put all these microphones around. So you get all these ambient microphones. Mm, they stick right. them like fucking thirty feet up in the air and stuff, and you have like, what they called out triggers, and you got like everything, man. You got all this sound to play with. Is that not just like a nightmare to have to go through all those different like? Angles of sound. Nah, it's a pleasure, mate. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> to me, you're saying that to me, yeah. and I'm yeah. like, holy shit, the setup required. To Kevin get gets off on that. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Those... I'm, I'm, I'm raging hard on front. Like, <laughs> 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 just nah. setting up like four mics for this fucking yeah, podcast yeah, yeah, gives yeah. me an yeah. like, He it, sees a mic 30 feet I, up in the air, he's just bricked yeah. up. Yeah. He's like, damn, <laughs> that's gonna sound so good. These mics got me acting up, man. You have absolute permission to like slit my throat if I don't actually utilize a space like that. Like, you'd be nuts. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, it, like so, the space is phenomenal, mm. and then we get a small amount of musicians because like we decided like okay, small amount of characters in the film uh, in, the, in the show, a uh, small amount of musicians to kind of like mimic that mm. that kind of mm. that, that mm. party size. Yeah, yeah. And so just having like yeah like three solo violas, three solo viola, three uh, two solo viola, one solo bass, but then them all kind of doing their own thing. But because the space is so good and so clean, you can have all these voices like really not if you orchestrate correctly. Right. You can uh, so it's like if you balance your textures correctly and all that sort of shit. Yeah. Um, you can have like a really rich sound with a small amount of people, and it yeah. can sound phenomenal. Right. Yeah. It's, it's it's beautiful. It's yeah. it's really fun. You're performing magic. Literally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It it is, means it's... you just said like so many words that I'm like, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, damn, yeah. man. Damn. Say that again. It, 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 I mean, because sometimes I, like I, I, I appreciate no, it. I, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Not at all. But I mean, sometimes like just the basic stuff, like even just doing like base, like but it is like kind of let's call it simple, like refined simple mm, sort, right. of, sort of ideas mm. is, is really, really fun. Uh, one of the other tracks that's that's in Abyss season one called um, Recapitulation. Um, what's that? Something in recapitulation, sorry. Mm. But uh, I should probably remember my own tracks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but uh, it just involves the nine strings, just mm. play, like playing just notes. Ba -da 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 -da. And all they're doing is changing the duration of the bow hand in order to get shorter or longer track. Uh, Shorter or longer notes. So they have like three different levels of length of note. But it's the same right. note. It's the same note. I mean, right. we, we change up the chords sometimes, but it is quite minimalistic. Right, right. That particular track. Right. Uh, but um, so basically, if you change the texture in that room, 
the um because you have something called um uh oh christ i should probably remember the damn thing from um <laughs> the uh, fuck, what's it called <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna we're no. gonna this. All all right. Right. <laughs> you're 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 remembering, you're remembering. <laughs> all good, man, all good. Um it's like early reflections. Early reflections. I think it's called early reflections. Okay. Right, yeah. right, right. The early reflections of the sound. Mm. So like the, the sound that kind of like because sounds flying everywhere in the room. Right. So, uh, yeah, it's one thing right. I do understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sound goes everywhere and obviously yeah. it bounces off certain certain points and then comes back to the microphone. Mm. Yeah. Those early reflections, early reflections in that room are really, really cool. Right. And they have a lot of character because it's almost like an echo effect mm, or like right. a chorus effect. Mm. And so, for example, if I recorded your voice in there, but mm. I didn't use like the mic that's in front of you, but I used the mics that caught like the first reflections of you just behind you or in front of you or something like that. Right. It would almost sound like there's like 10 of you. Right, so right, really right. cool chorus effect. It's quite unique to that. I mean, because it's kind of like the, spread out and bounced yeah. around yeah, a little bit, right? Yeah, just because of the quality of the, the quality of the wood in the room and stuff yeah. like that, mm. things change. And mm. cool. so it is. It is like a really good room. So is this like cool. is this place like famous? Because I can't imagine. Okay, you're gonna record a soundtrack. You want like a certain sound profile for like Made in the Best, like because this place seems like it was tailor-made for a series like made in abyss set in caverns and mm. wide open spaces yeah how do you like go about finding the perfect recording spot or the perfect well, recording the, space the, the correct recording spot yeah yeah definitely. the correct yeah. So for abyss it was that one um i think for well because rising of the shield hero we recorded in boston with a rock orchestra mm. uh, and they specified in rock orchestra so the players did live performances at the time uh, with with uh, a full live band, I think they did some fun and fancy stuff uh, among other Square Enix projects, among mm. other things as well. Right. So they like kind of specialized in that kind of quite cool kind of attitude orchestra with rock, which which is what we wanted to achieve mm. for Shield Hero. Mm. Right. Tower of God. Um, obviously, I mean, it's, it's in the name as well. It has like a slightly biblical sort of mm. Um, mm. Uh, sensibility about it. And um, <clears throat> we found this hall in the Czech Republic called the Dvorak Hall. So it's this beautiful old hall. It was built, I think, in the name of Dvorak. Uh, so he's mm. like a, a, a very, very, very um, famous um, composer mm. of um, romantic, okay. uh, romantic right. late, late, yeah, late romantic music, I should say. But um, so this hall was designed either for him or by him or around him. So sorry about not being specific about it, but oh, it no. is a beautiful concert hall. It is it is ancient. It is it has this beautiful, lush sort of like reverb tale and stuff. Yeah. Mm. It is fucking pretty to like listen to mm -hmm. and it's it's a performance hall but they also do recording there yeah and uh which so we recorded string orchestra there for tower of god because it had this sort of almost um cathedral-esque sort of sensibility mm -hmm. right which, which worked great for certain aspects of the tower of god soundtrack right of, like, right concepts right right, um, right. Um, oh. <laughs> so this this one hall it, it was they had a very specific sound that, say, a, you're a, a normal cathedral wouldn't. I'm sure a normal cathedral would, but that's when practicality comes into it. So right, you got to make right. sure at the end of the day that, um, you know, you could, again, you got to you got to fit within certain budgets and stuff like that. You yeah, 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 like, yeah. I mean, that's that's part of like the business skills part of it, which yeah, you know, does right, come in. Right, right, I imagine right. you have these these grandiose ideas and, and this yeah. this concept that you have, yeah. and there's a guy there that is like, I am here to scale you back down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to make sure that you keep your, your so life. you're pushing the envelope a little bit, yeah. aren't you? Like, it's like I want to record on the moon because <laughs> it's a space opera. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> like you know, yeah. No, there's no sound in space. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting good. real experimental. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna build a cathedral yeah. in space. Yeah. <laughs> apparently, apparently a, a dying black hole, or like a black hole, is like the loudest sound ever. But you can't hear it. I believe yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe probably, that. Probably. Yeah. 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 The moon would be nice, but I don't think I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> You're not going to make a whole lot of progress <laughs> yeah. there. No, no. no I think tell us the fact about the dying black hole being the, the, the loudest <laughs> they, thing ever. No, I think they did manage to record it. So, oh, no. Yeah. It's a, I think it is. The, it must be the loudest sound because it's, it's, a, it's a black hole consuming stars. But yeah. they managed to record the sound of it, I think, recently. And it's like this, this eerie fucking. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's atoms being crushed into nothing. Yeah. Mm, right, cool. right, right. Anyway, yeah. Interesting so, bit of yeah. We're not going to the moon. We're not going to the moon. <laughs> Second loudest is a Modern Warfare 2 lobby. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> so like going like I guess moving from Mean and the Best, one thing I've noticed is that you always try to do something new with like every new project that you take on. I guess that's why you put a lot of experimental stuff into Mean and the Best. Mm. Um, and I feel like Tower of God, right? It's that's just like dubstep, which is like so far removed from what you were doing in Made in the Best. Like how how did that come about? <laughs> like, like did you have to listen to like a lot of dubstep to like yeah. study it, or did, what, did no, that just like come out? Did they come tell out? you, or was that uh, your decision so to be like, like, I'm gonna put a bunch of fucking dubstep? No, it's because right I now. used to go to a lot of fucking raves. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like making a rave. <laughs> no, no. Um, like one of the people I worked with. That, okay, pre-story again, but uh, <laughs> like. Yeah, so Perth has like a massive drum drum, uh, drum bass scene. We really get in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, but well, Pendulum from there, for example. Oh yeah, yeah true. Pendulum, of, course, of course, like it has a, a great scene. Mm. And uh, yeah, so I, when I went to Whopper, uh, I got introduced because I was like, oh, I love video game music, and that's it, sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. But then um, one of my friends, one of my really really close best friends that I still. You know, we're still really, really close today. Yeah. So we've known each other for fuck. It's getting on thirteen years now. Yeah. But um, yeah, he used to be like, oh well, we're going to this fucking, you know, uh, we're going to like this like hotel bar to go to rave, and I've got a track, and one of the DJs is playing one of my drum and bass yeah. tracks. Mm -hmm. Come and then yeah, let's do a bunch of fucking like vodka cruises and whatnot, and just <laughs> dance like a fucking ener energizer bunny on the fucking floor, <laughs> like for like three or four hours, and it would be great. And so I kind of kept that. And when I moved here, obviously that you know. Big kind of EDM. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I just like to imagine you at like DefCon or something, and you're just standing there like they don't know I'm a flautist. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm just, just like standing. There. I'm, I'm very good at the world's shittiest shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I would yeah. pay to see that. Yeah, no, it, it's uh, like, but that that um that culture of um of dance music and especially um. Mm. Like hardcore yeah, music. Yeah, well, yeah. either liquid drum bass or dark drum bass fucking just kept with me. Mm. Yeah. So like. If you think about like kind of those elements where it's either like very very fluid sort of synthesizers or it can be like it like there is some fucking hardcore like music like right. in that genre mm, like, yeah 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 if you've like been to like a I, I don't know, it's like there's there's so many like there's so many like examples but you know if you if you hear like um oh, i can't even think of like i remember going to a couple of gigs uh in either south or east london when i was living here yeah and the fucking bass that comes out of some of these like venues, oh, yeah. man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because there's like Holy speakers. Fuck. Like, uh, I went to this warehouse gig once. I can't remember where because it's been so long ago. But now, but like, I remember like just walls and walls of speakers, for hundreds yeah. of meters. And then because it's like a three-story warehouse, they've got speakers yeah. going up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. The fucking bass that comes out of those mixes. In, yeah. It, when you're on the dance floor, you know, obviously you had a couple of the, you know, vodka tonics or something like yeah. that. Man, you just like it's it's wetting. It's yeah, so you, you you feel you feel every atom in your body just like shake. shake yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially the bass, like it, it's a fucking physical reaction. Yeah, it's yeah. Fucking biblical, man. It's so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so like you just, know the bass is good when you don't hear it, you just feel it. You do. Yeah. You feel <laughs> it. That's such a good yeah. adjective. Yeah. biblical. I'm biblical. gonna use that more, yeah, yeah. more often. It's, that resonant, is... it's resonating in your chest. Here. It's yeah. really yeah. good. <laughs> it feels awesome and it sounds great as well. Until yeah. you, you start bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. It's the well. chicken sandwich, biblical, <laughs> biblical. Fucking <laughs> 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 biblical, mate. <laughs> it's so <laughs> good <laughs> that Jesus had to get involved. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little spiritual. It is a little spiritual. Um, but yeah, so, um, so that culture and that that feeling, yeah, yeah. Um, still is with me, even though I write a lot of um, orchestral music as well. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, when yeah. it came to when it came to Tower of God, um, if you look at the manga, because manga, unlike ma manga, is um, it's colorized. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So uh, if you look at the color palette for Tower of God in the manga, it's actually very minimalist. So mm. Yeah, normally mm. like three or four like very big bold colors on yeah. uh, on a on a panel, mm. and then you go back and the, you, you so you see these really interesting like uh, some of the characters are sometimes just silhouettes against like a huge beautiful background, right, like, right, in front of a giant creature. Or something like that so there's a there's a as a composer it's like kind of a bit of a wet dream it's really good yeah, 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 and yeah so yeah. um if you think about <clears throat> taking really bold colors mm. that are contrasting and trying to put them together in a musical sense yeah like you you can split it into let's say a frequency range you can go high mid low yeah, yeah. Uh, so if you have uh, i did a theme for one of the characters called rachel yeah and her theme is literally just harp so there's harp in the middle there's like dial-up style tones on top and yeah. then just this bass comes in to just kind of 
punch you in the face essentially you punch right you in the chest cavity and so like that's sort of like dubstep with harp for example like, right. you know how can we find an interesting combination that still kind of relate back to this idea of frequency spectrums being kind of split up to represent very minimalist but maximalist style coloring in the panels mm, yeah yeah that yeah, sort yeah. Of thing. so like you know you have like this kind of pretty harp and all of a sudden yeah <laughs> Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. You know, but, and then like also like very su- I know. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> but like, you know, these sorts of um uh like also radical changes in texture as well. Yeah. Like that suits Tarragon in my mind at least. Mm, yeah, yeah. Well, no, it definitely did. So, like, yeah. When you when you handed it to them and you're like, here it is. They were like well, they, were they like, whoa. <laughs> well, it was kind of interesting because um we did essentially what you could call almost like a concept album. We did like 13 mm. tracks. We we're like, we're going to put together 13 contrasting tracks. To That's present. quite a lot of tracks. A lot of, mm. It was a big investment. Yeah. Uh, but like we did like the, like the first 13 tracks as like sort of a proof of concept saying like, this is what we want to do. This is how we want to do it. We do this style of choir and you know, this harp and dubstep idea. And we want to, you know, punch people in the face with like, like, <laughs> like beats and shit. Mm. And uh, they were all for it. Which oh, again, right. just mm. fucking lucky. And yeah. thank you to them for like actually just being like- Being yeah, cool with it. We're cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I we're feel cool. like when you explain stuff in music, I'm like, yeah, okay. All yeah. right, yeah. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I have achieved <laughs> the impossible. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I'm, yeah, if I was the exec, I'd be like, you, you sound like you know it. <laughs> yeah. I'll just, I'll believe you. You mentioned the word biblical. Yeah. That's all I need to know. <laughs> he said, he said bibli- biblical, minimalist, and then maximalist. Yeah. And, and within like one second, I was like, that sounds like you you know what's yeah. up. It's like, look into my eyes. Not yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just like, I'm trying to, I'm like, yeah, okay. I, I Harps go with, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, you also need to, you know, execute the concept. Right. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. And so like, you know, cause obviously everything's done kind of in a computer, so to speak, until you go to the recording process. Mm, as well. yeah. so it's, you're also showing a demo. You're not showing like the full, fully right. realized uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of thing. So then you've got to potentially risk, you know, going and, and finding the right musician, finding mm, the right space mm, yeah. within the right budget, of course, as well. Are, are you the one handling all of this? Is, is the- Oh, I mean, it's not like, I've got um, um, sort of the music supervisor, the right. director mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, that uh, we, work, we work with every day. So. Right. so if you need someone to play the harp, right? You need someone to record ah. it. You're like, I know a guy, or well, you're like, please find me a, a harp person. Well, this is the, the lucky part about going to a music college. Because you, you know, everyone. you get to know right, a bunch of musicians. Right, 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 yeah. So, like, I, a couple of the composer friends that I went to Whopper with, uh, and, and <laughs> sorry, I'm going to come back to it, but uh, like, you know, it, it, it's all fucking, it's all connected, man. All connected. <laughs> My man's uh, got Demetri on speed. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, it's like, hey, yo, uh, <laughs> I know the guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, birthday, so. he, he knows a mate. Yeah, yeah. he knows a mate. <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's a beautiful boy. Yeah. Uh, beautiful man. So, but, uh, um, yeah, no, so, like, for example, like, uh, uh, when I went to Underground and Whopper, like I had a couple of friends and stuff that like I started working with on Tower of God. So, mm. yeah. um, you know, uh, Matt McLean, Feeding Ear is his name. And we did some jump bass stuff for um, for Tower of God. Yeah. That was yeah. like really, really nice. Yeah. And then um, I knew some musicians because I went to yeah the RCM here in London. Right. And like those, those student musicians are bloody good. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, those, yeah. Student musicians of the RCM become, uh, you know, they have a because very, very good chance of becoming working musicians. Yeah. In, in, <laughs> right, you'd, right. You'd hope so. You'd they, hope yeah, so. There, right. there is a, there is a really like they are beautiful musicians, and right. um, because you, because you're just basically breaking bread with these guys for two, three, four years. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're yeah. going to the the RCM bar and you're getting hammered with these guys all yeah. the time. And so you know you have like this connection because you know in the same way that we kind of you know broke a little mm. broke a little bread over yeah over about six hundred gin tonics you know <laughs> but you do the same with like the musicians stuff they're, they're good friends and but they also just they just they they come to work so yeah. Like, yeah. yeah so it sounds like every aspect of the entertainment industry it's yeah. like yeah, yeah you can be good at what you do but yeah. also you need to go out and talk yeah. to people yeah yeah, yeah exactly so exactly. exactly. super important and so. Uh, when it came to certain projects like this, like Tower God, like, oh, we, I, I mean, Valeria was the harp player and she she does not only classical harp, but she also does improv harp. So I could mm. just give her like, you know, I could almost give him some, you know, really piece of shit fucking like sheet music where I was like, I've done my best to like make it so that it doesn't right. look like an absolute insult, but feel free to like just interpret this in a non shitty way. Right, right. I, I was gonna ask about this. I was like, you're mentioning that you're the one writing the sheet music, basically, so, like, roughly. Yeah. How do you how do you come across the knowledge of every single instrument you want to use? Pain and suffering. Because like, obviously, if you're a violinist, you do violin. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're very good at it. Yeah. But like, 
you were like, I need to know this Russian synth. Also, can I find the harp? And I need to write that. Like, this sounds like an overload of knowledge that you uh, have to acquire or have a rough understanding of almost everything. So, um, yeah. So when you're orchestrating for a larger ensemble, mm. so harp is a very, very specific and very unique instrument. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It works on a pedaling system, which um, I understand the concept of, but don't know how to like achieve. Right. right. So what I would say is that you kind of working up your base knowledge of certain things. Right. Obviously, like when I write woodwind, like woodwind sectionals, uh, it's it's a lot kind of let's call it more natural. Yeah. Because you, know I mean? like, you understand that. Yeah. It's like mm. okay, I understand that if I do something quite fucky that there's going to be a will or a way to kind of get it done. Yeah. And that's why you hear like a, quite a few flute passages and whatever. So, cause I, and you hear yeah. a lot of flute jumping up and down and up and down and up and down because like, ah, yep. It's like, you, you it's just I, your, it's just I, your I, comfort I, instrument, yeah. right? It's just like, but then when it comes to say Dimitri, the violinist, because he is such a fucking boss, I can yeah. do like what would normally be insultingly stupid shit, yeah. but he'd be like, okay, let's go. And you just fucking, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, can do, I can do this, I can do that. And then yeah. he's fucking like does all these different permutations of it. Yeah. Just do a bunch of takes and just cut huh. it together. That's and it just cool. sounds mm. fucking awesome. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And I just sat there like, oh shit, it actually worked. Yeah. And then like, so it's literally just like a fuckload of trial, trial and error. I was going to say, it must, yeah. it must, mm. must yeah. be a long journey. Um, a couple yeah. of riffs, but then also, yeah, like I did learn orchestration. Like, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Which is basically just going through, yes, going through every instrument and just being like, what does and does not work. And you just build <laughs> it up. So flute. But then there's alto flute, bass flute, and then the, yeah, bass flute has certain characteristics in which you know if you go too high on the bass flute, it's going to start doing overtones. Right, right, right. The alto flute and the flute I, or the piccolo won't do I, in the same way. Would you say there's always a concern then when you're like, I don't want this guy to think I'm a fucking idiot for writing this and then handing it to a professional? Ah, it like, that's why I like give me a chill atmosphere in the studio. Okay, right? okay. okay. Yeah. Then, for example, that's why like, yeah. if you see in that in that. That's when you start to yeah, call yeah, people yeah. mates. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like I, I like you want bring your a game so yeah, yeah. You, you come you come with the, like the best possible job that you could have done yeah you've done as much research as possible on, on the instrument or, yeah yeah it's mm. it's i mean because that's why that's why i gained a lot of weight in pandemic yeah. so i was just, like, <laughs> working but i couldn't do anything to, like kind of get rid of the stress yeah. it's like right right it's right. like okay i need to do this i need to do that and like like the star was saying like you know you want to make sure that is right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah, course you want to bring the best fucking sheet music you want it to be beautifully typeset you want that to be the best looking music yeah. you've ever written right right, yeah. right. On page and you want the, the the musicians to be happy because you want the project to go really really well yeah please. yeah yeah right, and right. It, thankfully it did but like again like huh. you you bring your a game and then you give the musician enough adequate scope if there is a mistake yeah or mm. you or you get yourself you know what it is it's almost like you're refining the the level of potential mistake yeah down yeah. to where there's an like you're in a, a, a sphere of uh, like safety. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. within that, if there's a mistake, if there's something like that, oh, that dynamic doesn't work. That doesn't yeah. work. That doesn't work. Blah, blah, will blah, will blah, they blah. tell you, they'll be like, uh, yeah, this, this part isn't really doable. Or like, let's just They try should it. tell you. And that's why it's good to be like, hey, just so you know, if there is anything wrong, tell me. Yeah, tell okay, me. Yeah. I don't mind. Yeah. I so that's, that's why I, I guess. Made, but if it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but check. that is literally the conversation. And you have yeah. that conversation all the time. And you yeah, yeah. Because you like, I don't, yeah. There are like, there are people that, you know, it's like, Okay, we will go for a take now. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah people like that, right, and right, right. Uh, like that's fine. But uh, I guess maybe yeah. like my style, I'm, I'm trying like my style right now at least is like yeah. I'm just happy to be here, and I just, you know I want to make. This <laughs> I'm just the mate. <laughs> I'm just the mate. I, I haven't composed anything. Yeah, yet, yeah. <laughs> but they keep rehiring. <laughs> like, <"What's that?"> just <laughs> tell me if I'm being a dickhead. Just, <laughs> just, just tell me. Just like, tell okay, me. like, just we're gonna sit down. We're just gonna mm. yeah, play it through. Yeah. If there's mm. any questions? I've you know, I've done my best to make sure that you guys have a good time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And if you do a good time, like I feel like you just because I was explaining to the to this to you last night as well. Mm. Um, like there, there's a couple of thoughts of school about like how many takes you should do. Right. Mm. And uh, you know, in certain countries, there'll be like one, two, or three, or four takes that you'll do of uh, do a run through, and then they'll be like, okay, we're done. Right. And then there's other times where um, there were there's other types of composers where you'll basically like do like multiple takes, even like what would be considered potentially unnecessary takes just to get like different kind of like permutations mm, and certain phrases right. like that. So you can cut together and kind of do like kind of different things. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, I'm in that second part right now. I was right gonna now, say, right, is, right, right. I'm you in the second like part, which are. is really not economical, but at the same yeah. time, um, there have been like more than, cap there's been countless times where I've been able to basically like create a really cool sort of 
almost like a combination or like an out amalgamation. What am I trying amalgamation. To yeah, amalgamation. Amalgamation. Yeah, amalgamation. Yeah, yeah. Of like different takes. That's uh, where, scary. Where, like you know, I'm like oh, like bar 34, beat four. The cello like kind of slipped a little bit on that one note. Mm. Right. And it sounds a little fucked up, but let's cut that in because I like the fucked upness. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. go back to like this other take, which is a bit more clean, something like that. And then let's right. bring in this sort of thing. The more so, you're telling me about it, the more stressed out I'm getting. Like, what if, yeah. you know, because if you have, like you said, you had uh, three of each uh, instrument earlier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What if like one guy's just sick, doesn't turn up? Or like. That's, that's not a thing. Not a thing. No, it shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what if uh, like someone's uh, they got to fly over the visa gets delayed or something, and it's like, oh crap, we need to find another guy. Like this sounds like I'm getting stressed no, out. I'm matching all these moving parts. See, right. If it makes you feel better, they're already there. Okay. okay yeah, they're right. already there. These guys do that day and in that. Day. Oh, okay, I, okay, put okay. It this way. If there was, if there was someone that was unable to come in because they were sick or whatever, the next person's just there. Okay. Right. 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 Just right. wondering about how this whole process. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. So in that case, you're hiring. You're hiring maybe not just a room, but there'll be what's called a fixer, an orchestral fixer. Who will help get everything. Who, who is like they organize everything because because right. you don't yeah. know everyone. You really mm. don't. Right. So you're you're coming into a situation where you're you're hiring a service. So you're hiring the studio and, they give you everything and you're you hiring a, like normally the stu- they're, they're, more times than none i've seen that the studio and the um like musician hiring service are one in the same I mean, right, or right, they, right. They, they they come hand in hand so look, okay. if, they say, if you're hiring the studio have you got musicians no okay use use the person that fixes all our all right, right. Yeah, that makes sense. and then they'll say mm. okay well we need x amount of yeah, we need X amount of yeah. woodwind this and mm, brass yeah. that. And then let's say, you know, someone doesn't rock up, they just make a phone call and I've, I've seen it happen. Like it, it, it's like, oh, uh, something didn't happen. Uh, can you come in? Yep, great, see you in 10 minutes. Awesome. Wow, yeah. right, wow. And right. you just kind of, like you can tailor the session. Uh, I, and I, I, I it, well, like if, unless there's a, a request for them to use their own conductor, I always get up my own stuff. Mm. Yeah. That way you have a lot more control. I'm a bit control freaky, so. Yeah. Right. Uh, so um, I'm, sure, I'm sure we all I figured that might be. Yeah, of course, of course. We all appreciate being very, very anal about control. Yeah. But uh, yeah, just like, let's say for example, like you're missing a cello. I'm just using an example. Mm, you know, right. Let's say the cello, you know, cello falls down and, you know, Explodes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's go. Yeah. About to yeah. Say yeah. Yeah. About that, about that is less. You're about to say some real shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel yeah, something yeah, yeah, yeah. Deep. Was it was like, coming out yeah. there. I was like, let's not go there. Uh, no, uh, so, sorry, microphone. Um, so yeah, let's say like Chalice is, is suddenly, just, you know, explodes. Just, yeah, just, explodes. Yeah, yeah. just like Thanos snaps out. Yeah, that was yeah, yeah. Snap. I've that done was a very, good, a very good snap. Like, that, yeah, that, was, that was a snap. firm snap. <laughs> ah, do you know why? Conducting is you to go one, two, <laughs> three. Oh, like then why were you shocked by your own yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is was like, oh my god, I can, oh my god, I can, I can conduct. <laughs> I have the power. This entire episode is going to be best tangent. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, whoppers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, what was I saying? The, the okay, so the cellist oh, explodes. Doctor exploding. Explodes. Let's say, okay, let's quickly switch over to like a different... Um, Let's switch over to like just it's a violin options. and viola yeah, yeah, yeah. only track yeah. for like 10 minutes. Okay, let's record that. Great. Finish that. Welcome back, Chalice. Let's right. go back to that. Okay, that makes mm-hmm. sense. Right, 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 yeah. right. Just have to keep like working through yeah. it. And- yeah. You work in huh. tandem with what's called a um, session producer, which is basically someone in the booth. If it's not you, like the composer can produce their own session if they are hiring a conductor to conduct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But uh, if you've decided to conduct yourself, you work in tandem with a producer or maybe two producers in the booth saying, yep, we've got that take. No, don't be a psychopath about that. Move on, please. Sort of thing. Yeah, like, right, 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 right. Like, you can get in your own head, especially yeah, you can someone yeah, yeah, in your own yeah, head. Exactly. Like, okay, yeah. Well, actually, I remember you saying like, have you got it? Have you got it? Like in, in a video when you were talking about how you have to, I think you were on scene, like you, it's like the boys club or something like that. Yeah. And you were talking about how you, you're doing takes of or interviews and stuff. Yeah. And then you're like, have we got it? Do we need to go again? You yeah. Have, like that sort of, uh, what would be the word nervousness about okay do we actually have the content yeah, yeah. Yeah. do we not have the content do we need to go again mm. and that in the, yeah, yeah. You, right but when it's important yeah, yeah. but if mm. you're filming it and you're also you know in the shot yeah. then you've got to go back you got to go back yeah. and yeah, yeah, that yeah. mind but if but having someone behind the camera, or in this case, in the in the recording booth, yeah. saying no, we got it. Let's chill. Let's move on. Yeah, right. like that kind of moves Greece. It's for like the nice reinforcement. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Day, yeah. It's like I guess the I, they. I mean, they they should, but like the cameraman, he's like getting the shot, but he doesn't necessarily give a shit if it doesn't look great sometimes it yeah. depends like also, on and, okay i would yeah. avoid that yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i would recommend and, it. and it's also sometimes 
you, they don't know what kind of shot that you want. You yeah. Know, as like normally mm. there's with a director. They don't have as much investment as like say someone you hire to be invested. Like, yeah. That, yeah. Well, I mean, if you're hiring a session producer, they should. Right. Hopefully so yeah, yeah. so you're, you're hiring someone who's like, his, his job is to be as invested as you. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah but yeah. obviously yeah. not everyone will be. Because otherwise he's just a guy at the booth. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, no, I, I do see where you're coming from now. So <laughs> there are times when someone is just saying, okay, have we got the, the you know, the, Stand They'll be like, yeah, yeah, we yeah, 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 we got it. Yeah, right. and then, you go like, back and you're like, you didn't yeah. have it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but then that would be hopefully where you could that that would maybe where experience kicks in and you say, yeah. Yeah. no, we're gonna go again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, you kind of drive the train. Like, mm. people, right, people are really supporting you. People are there doing their job, but it, right you know, between you and maybe like the music supervisor or something like that, you guys are driving that train. Yeah, so you've got to be like on it. And then yeah. this is where it's not just a physical job; it's also super mental. Mm. Yeah, because mm. you, you've got to focus on. Not only if you're especially conducting, you got the physicality of making sure, okay, cue that person in, keep on going like that. Yeah. You come in, you come in, beat three, blah, 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 blah. You know, mm. so you, you, you're queuing people, even though yeah. you can yeah. do it. But, you know, through the physical act of conducting, it's not just about keeping tempo, which you, to be fair, everyone's got a click in their ear. So yeah, it doesn't yeah. really matter too much. But what it's about is coaxing more performance out of it. Yeah. More, it's like, give me more. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like, you're yeah. basically just like micromanaging yeah. everyone, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully in like in a positive way. But right, yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, yeah. But it's like, for example, if I'm going like this to you, I'm like, okay, sing, sing, mm. sing, sing. And then, yeah. okay, on that last one, then it's like, sing more. Yeah. Right. So like, <laughs> sing. Yeah, no, sounds like, Do it again. <laughs> sound, like, sounds a bit constipated, but at the yeah. same time, it's like, okay, that should, Hopefully, coax a little bit more. You know, you yeah. might push a little harder. Mm, like that. Yeah. Mm. So if you're if you're doing that at the same time, you're also listening to everyone else in, in your headphones mm, or like yeah, in the room, yeah. making sure that everyone else is playing at the same God. time. Yeah. So you're doing that over and over again for nine hours a day. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. like you take everything you just described. How much? How many more layers of difficulty has been has been added on yeah. with COVID? I was going to ask this. And ah. uh, having to do things remotely because yeah. that sounds like a nightmare in person. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a reason that if you see me like in the room, it, I'm like a sweaty mess because it is like super intensive. Mm. Right. Um, in the in this like in the COVID times. Uh, it's been interesting because depending on where you are, it's actually a little more convenient in terms of the time difference because obviously okay. Australia is like so far in front of everywhere. So yeah, um, if you're recording in America, it's quite nice because you you know it's sort of like an early morning thing. And I became a bit of an early riser during COVID, yeah. for, at least for a time until mm. suddenly it was very not an early riser. <laughs> but um, uh, in Europe, it's kind of interesting. We did a lot of recording in Prague, some Budapest during the pandemic. During the pandemic. And uh, for, for an upcoming project, we did a little recording in America as well. Right. But um, yeah, uh, normally for um, for Europe, it's normally like an Australian nighttime sort of recording. Mm. So you, yeah, yeah, kind yeah. Of, you kind of sit down at like seven, eight o'clock at night and then you do six, seven hours. So you kind of finish like two, three o'clock in the morning. So, right. so you're on call yeah, you get, with you, you got people to... who are just in a big hall? Yeah, so they basically just stream the audio on audio movers and Zoom. Wow, yeah, it's actually, God. to be honest, like, it's actually not bad. Really? I, yeah, I but, what, but what if it, like, lags halfway through, like, I've a recording, that. right? I've yeah. Because, yeah. like, <clears throat> like <clears throat> fucking classic Australian internet just crashes. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, it must be shit. Yeah, it's like, because, yeah. Okay, fuck it's like, oh, Kevin's connecting. Yeah. yeah. So it's I mean, like, why is our conductor in like, four, like four, 480p? Like, yeah. I can barely you know, see him. You know, like. At that point, you're not conducting, unfortunately. Yeah. 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 That, that was what was really nice about like going back to Sydney for a couple of projects. Sorry, going back to Sydney. Going to Sydney for, mm, for yeah. a couple of projects. Because uh, like, yeah, Melbourne City is like an hour and a half on the plane and stuff. And right. that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, to finally get back to conducting for, uh, for Star Wars was really because cool, that was yeah. like the first time I'd done it. Uh, I, for I forgot the like because the muscles just like just like go away to, to conduct. Like, yeah, because like try doing this yeah. for like nine hours. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's very like. Just the right Just arm. Just the right arm. <laughs> You're like quagmire. Like, <laughs> it's like, well, what's up with your arm? I'm a conductor. Like, I swear I'm a conductor. We were, talk we were talking about carpal tunnel and jump king before, yeah, but like, yeah. it's like that, but for your entire arm. Yeah. Like that. It's fine, God. He's left handed, so they balance <laughs> <laughs> It balances out. Oh my God. <laughs> Never just pose pandemic. It's just arms are huge and nothing Perfectly else. Perfectly balanced. It's all things should be. <laughs> nah, it's like um. So, uh, yeah, I, I forgot how like physically intensive it was. So mm, I was just yeah. sat there like, because 
Um, because what you normally meant to do is like maybe be a little bit reserved in like moving your arms and stuff. You can't help yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, cool, <laughs> like you're getting into it, it's like, fucking stop, this fucking guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sort of thing. And then all of a sudden you're, like, you're moving your entire body, doing like Zumba mm, yeah, for like, yeah, yeah. yeah, like quite a few hours. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. It's a little interesting. Sounds yeah. really intense. Yeah. yeah. So like, so, speaking of, oh, sorry. No, 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 no I have nothing of value to say. Ben's <laughs> 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 literally talking for an hour and a half. It's like, that was all just bands, bro. Like, <laughs> literally just talking yeah. out of my yeah. head. Yeah. Oh, that was real. <laughs> Literally talking Time about. <laughs> literally talking to like an anime composer, composer for some of the oh. biggest shows in like the past few years. I literally have nothing of value to say. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. So Star Wars. Uh, yeah. How, how was how was that like? Really cool. How did yeah, like what, how was it when like the news came in to be like? Uh, can you compose a piece of like? music for Star Wars media? Cause I'm assuming like- Well, it's a great honor. Like, like, you know, obviously it has the history of history. Mm, yeah. Um, and just to, to be able to kind of, obviously, like, so Star Wars Visions is uh, an animated um, series for, um, based in the universe of Star Wars. And I did one of those one of those um, episodes. Mm, nine yeah, episodes. Yeah. Did the, the episode four called uh, Village Bride. Mm, right. And um, what, what I really liked about it is that um, Star Wars Visions, uh, our, our episode, Explored like some really cool, like spiritual um, and uh, biblical shit. <laughs> so, uh, I was waiting for that word. Yeah. I was like, where is it? Where is it? No, it, it, it explores some really nice concepts with the Force, uh, which was just, I mean, it, I grew up watching that. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I watched the original trilogy with my dad, and then, we, then my dad and I watched uh, the, the prequels, uh, and then I did watch the sequels as well, of course. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it was, it was really, uh, it was really nice to, sort of have like one hand in like sort of that aesthetic world at the same time we're exploring uh certain like spiritual aspects especially considering like the the, the backdrop is is um is very like sort of kyoto-esque mm. yeah, yeah 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 so like to have um to have like the ability to use like traditional japanese instruments so we use uh, sho mm. we use koto we use shakachi and we, and we did uh, shinobue as well mm. right uh, and so we recorded those in tokyo recorded um orchestra in sydney Put them all together, uh, but to, especially especially yeah. the the sh uh, the show is is a is a wow. Which one is that? Show is the mouth organ. It's a it's it's a so. I mean, I'm I'm very very oversimplifying to say that. It's <laughs> I've a, never heard of this. Thing. <laughs> yeah, wait, mouth, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. When, and, and then when Kevin said it's a mouth organ, I was this close to being like, no, it's not. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so it, you blow into uh, a, a small, like a, a giant amount, uh, sort of like giant amount. Thanks, Kevin. Giant amount. <laughs> giant a amount, large amount. A, a large amount of. Um, um, Bamboo pipes. Huh. Oh. Creates, You've definitely seen it before. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's part of a temple culture a lot. Oh. Mm. Oh, no, I can't. Maybe I've seen it. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right, right, right. I mean, you would have heard it. You would have absolutely right. heard it. Yeah. But um, it's, norm it's like 12 to 14 sort of um, uh, individual little pipes. Mm. You right. You blow into it. You can blow in and, and like blow in and out. Right. Uh, to create uh, sort of a, a very, very complex. Yeah, this thing. This thing. Have you seen this thing? Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have yeah. seen this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's a very complex, very beautiful sort of uh, cluster of, of notes that create a very, very dense, very specific chord. And all these chords have very, very, very special meaning. So yeah. first off, obviously, you know, as an Australian, you got to, I really, really wanted to be very careful about that. And, you know, the, the, there's been, um, I mean, there's always a bit of an attitude in Australia when it comes to uh, using um, Australia's indigenous instruments, which is uh, you, you, that like you don't want to fuck this up. You don't yeah. want to mm. be that person that has really disrespected a very, very important and very sacred instrument. Yeah. And so that mentality mm. uh, I've carried, like I've, I've been lucky enough to use uh, like sort of Australian instruments in the past. And it's always been in very um, explicit collaboration with um, First Nations people uh, mm, using right. those instruments because I'm not going to use that instrument on my own. Mm. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like I have the, the like, I, I, I don't, like, I, I can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so even though I am Australian, uh, I would I want to make sure that when it comes to Japan's instruments, it's the exact same approach. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Be very, very like cal calculated in a good way. Like sort of you know talk to the musician, saying what is okay, what isn't okay, what are you happy with, are you not happy with, what is natural, what is unnatural, those sorts of things. Mm. What do you have? Thankfully, like the musician, especially the show player. Um, is phenomenal mm, yeah. and was very 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 open to just sort of discussing okay what does and doesn't work mm. these are the chords like see these are sort of like the, the um the core chords so to speak, yeah that you can't like that that 
you know come on like the yeah it has like different systems it's very very interesting so um it it basically you you have like different combinations of notes that um they have like a different kanji and it works actually on a, on the circle it works on a not a pendulum sorry but like again, a circle of yeah, fifths type of thing or yeah but not fifths it's a circle of chords but then mm. all of them have different meanings and stuff like mm. that um i really hope i'm not bastardizing this as well but like mm. I, w- I wouldn't know if no you no <laughs> the problem is i know yeah. <laughs> um, i know you know no yeah. no but um Basically, what happened is that we did a lot of workshopping and just said, okay, how do we make sure that, like, is this good? Is this okay? Right. Is this right. Not okay? Right. How, why, and when, sort of thing. Yeah. Mm. Is that, like, sorry, because like, no, excuse no. my ignorance on this. You're saying, like, is that good, as in, like, if, if you were to use it incorrectly, it would be disrespectful? Well, it might not, like, I don't know, but the problem is I don't know. Right. Okay. right yeah. Right, right. And I'd rather, like, you don't want to overstep the boundary uh, just in yeah. case. Yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. rather ask too many questions and just, like, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. or to be just said, no, don't worry about it. It's great. It's fine. Yeah. Don't worry about it. But that's not my permission to give. Yeah, yeah. 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 So once I've received it, then I feel, okay, let's, now that, now we can record, now we can mm. actually, you know, work with these instruments. And right. obviously, yeah. like, being commissioned to do something which is anime, obviously, Star Wars as well, but, like, doing something that is anime yeah um and in this case has a, a very specific relationship to uh, japan and its instruments mm. that's super mm. important for me to make sure that like you know i get that right mm. yeah yeah mm. i don't want to yeah i don't want to i don't want to fuck it up yeah right. of course I really don't yeah. Yeah. yeah is it is it is there ever like a, a, a difficulty when you're working on a property <clears> that has had so much history and, and previous works that you could kind of get yeah. lost in inspiration with yeah, yeah. i mean yeah it's not not an easy one. Uh, right. So, so yeah, Star yeah, Wars yeah, has yeah. I mean, Star Wars a lot of music, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Music, exactly. There's a lot of the best music. Yeah, yeah. Because well, yeah, yeah. so, um, I guess you're just like naturally going to be compared to the likes of like John Williams, right? You're so listen it's to like, it, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, but you don't want to sound too much like that. Yeah, either, yeah. Well, right? the thing yeah. is like because you have listened to it. There's, there's yeah. no way you yeah, have you not can't listened. Listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless what you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like, I mean, thankfully because it's anime, it actually it actually because it's not live action, you actually. We almost in a way had a little bit more freedom mm. yeah because yeah. we were trying something new and that was one of the ethos 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 e- ethos. ethos ethos that yeah. was the ethos yeah. of um of the show or at least the, you know um that was one of the um sort of the the core sort of yeah yeah um concepts of of the show was to you know obviously be in the universe but then to explore it in this gut in, in a medium that you know i've been not only lucky enough to be part of but i really do genuinely love mm-hmm. yeah yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah it's important yeah yeah because like I, me- I remember like watching that episode and i was like of course i gotta support my boy kevin of course yeah. i'm gonna watch star wars visions and i remember like going to this episode and i was just like this is like definitely star wars but this is like such a kevin star wars <laughs> i'm like i don't know like i'm, I'm not like well versed enough in like musical lingo to be able to like break down what makes it a Kevin Star Wars. It just felt like a Kevin Star Wars, mm. a Kevin take on the Star Wars, you right. know, universe mm. and just, you know, the iconic music is, as well. Is that something you do unconsciously? Like you have a kind of a signature almost to your music? That's a good question. I'm not actually even sure. Like, you know- <laughs> I, I think regardless of whether you like aim to do it or not, I think yeah. you've but achieved yeah, it. Do you, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, do you, do right. you think that when people listen to your music without knowing you'd like mm. the, or they have heard your previous works, they can identify yeah. another one of your work. Yeah, because actually I didn't even know that you did the music for that episode. But as soon as like the, the episode started playing, I'm like, this is Kevin. I, I, I already know. I know my boy. Yeah. Um, I may I may gravitate towards certain uh, cluster courses, but that way. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, um, I, like I, I, I wouldn't know how to put my finger on it. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't know how to do that, but... Um, I think in a way, like it's both a very endearing thing to hear, and at the same time, I'm like, okay, how could I, how could I not do that? Yeah, how can I not? How can I not do that? Surprise, motherfucker! How can I do that? How can I do that next yeah. time? So it's almost like no, because I, it's it, it's a great thing to hear, and I am happy to hear. Mm. At the same yeah. time, I'm like, okay, I w- I do eventually want to. Feel like it sounds a bit fucking wanky, but like I want to evolve. At some yeah, point, yeah, like, of course. And yeah. I kind of mm. tra- transcend. No, that's, what, that's too far. That's, <laughs> I mean, that's, you get a, you get a little bit too biblical, man. <laughs> <laughs> Place the Russian no. synth. <laughs> well, I mean, one one you have to evolve in every yeah. every yeah, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. You've got to you yeah. stand top. Yeah. yeah, I mean, because as as I uh, we were mentioning before, I, I just turned thirty, and so I've started like putting together like the list of okay, what do I want to do in like the next. 10 years like what right. i want to do between 30 and 40 and one of them is like just to like i want to learn to sing again because I, mm. I used to sing and i used to not be 
totally shit at it. Mm, and right. now I just and now I sound like pretty sure like if like bit out of practice. Yeah, let's just say if like the cat was angry and screeched, it would still sound better than <laughs> What my uh, what my voice would sound I feel like, like in my attempt. You're being dramatic. Yeah, I'm you'll really be fine. fine. Like knowing you, Kevin, you're probably a lot mm, better than what yeah. you think. Mm, mm, mm. I think that's just your musician side saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So like, I want to get, I want to sing again. I want to like. Well, we got to go to karaoke to find out, yeah, don't we? Let's fucking go. No, like, the, like singing, and I want to like kind of try a few different music ideas. I want it would be really nice to do like a personal album. Mm, the first right. time, like I, I've never really released like like a personal album, like personal right, music. Right, right, right. right. So it's been in, like for the last, you know, f- as far as I can remember, f- like in terms of my professional life, it's always been like, to a project, which is fucking awesome. But at the yeah. same time, I feel like, you know what? In the next 10 years, it'd be good to like really create something like, just, that's just I'm you really yeah, just yeah, yeah. yeah me i gotta figure out what that is as well because like i don't i don't know what i am so. well, welcome to being <laughs> in your 30s my yeah. lord <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. good luck good luck, no, good luck. No, no. Shit. i got my sweating i got a little while i got a little yeah. while <laughs> yeah but um no no I, i'm not like that's like, like that you know that's really respectable though like I, I think as you know because all of us right now are in kind of the creative field regardless of if it's of different types of yeah, creative yeah, fields yeah, like i think we can all you know kind of you know empathize with that like feeling yeah. right of being like yeah you know you want to get yourself out there and try and spread your wings out as much as possible yeah. creatively right well, i mean yeah. look how much you've grown as well like look at your channel and look at your content how it's developed i mean all three mm. of you for mm. fuck's sake i mean like look at this podcast i mean last mm. time we caught up you, it didn't exist and now yeah. it is this your personal channels as well mm. I mean, we watch them all the time and it's it, like we, we watch the old content watch the new stuff mm. it's it's i mean all of it's great but it is so so lovely to see thank how you. it oh, has man. changed and evolved oh, yeah, likewise oh, man so likewise much. thank you likewise with your stuff <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah i'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, all men strive for gold in their life, right? Gold medals, gold watches, gold everything. However, there is a certain type of man that goes the extra mile in life. He walks with the confidence of an eagle and giggles in the face of danger. He's big, hairless, and a winning machine, and when he unzips his pants, he sees platinum. That's right, Manscaped would like to introduce to you their biggest, most ultimatest, Package. The Platinum Package 4.0. Join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with code Trash Taste. The Manscaped brand new Platinum Package 4.0 is the biggest bundle they've ever offered, giving you a bulk discount on Manscaped's top products. That includes the Lawnmower 4.0, of course, the Weed Whacker, 2 in 1 Shampoo and Conditioner, Deodorant, the Crop Preserver, and also the Crop Reviver, and Anti Chafing Boxes. So if you want 20% off and you want to get free shipping, use our coupon code Trash Taste at Manscaped. Manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping by using our coupon code trash taste at manscaped.com. Back to the episode. So I guess while we wrap this up, I got to ask like, what do you want to explore next? Because you, you always say you want to do something new. What's like something that you haven't done yet that you want to do? Like musically speaking? Yeah, like musically speaking. I was gonna, or just, I was gonna meme for a second, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have um, a good Burger King burger. King. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't talk about the impossible here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have to go to the source. Um, well, yeah, I mentioned like the personal album thing. I think what I want to do is um, expand, which is the best way to describe it. I think, mm, right? Um, I, like, you know, I, I'm. I don't mean this in any sort of like shitty braggadocious sort of way. I am very happy with what I've been able to achieve mm. so far. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've yeah. turned thirty. I did, like these wonderful projects. I met wonderful people. I'm part of a wonderful sort of industry and community. Mm. Um, you know, I've got friends and family and all the sorts. Like I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm a happy boy. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think balance, if anything, is what I want to achieve next. Yeah. Uh, I feel like, you know, the next is like, you know, it's been like, the pandemic can go suck a massive fat bag of donkey dicks. Like, yeah. It fucking suck. Like, and it, but it put a lot Only of things. Bold statements. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, it, it did put a lot of things in perspective because like, you know, you could work hard and hard and hard and that's fine for a while. Eventually, like, you know, not only does your body tell you like you're, you know, you got to take better care of yourself. Mm. Like, yeah. Again, like I, I was mentioning, I think maybe off camera, but like, yeah, put on a fucking load of weight. Yeah. Yeah. Drank yeah, yeah. mm. too much, ate too much in the pandemic. And like, it was just a way to deal and fine. We all kind of get it. It's not yeah, healthy. Yeah, yeah. No, you weren't the only one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't feel like I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm not breaking any fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you did up. what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the statement's going to come as a massive shock that I was a fucking down during the pandemic. Right. right yeah. Right. Right. I'm very not, I I'm very not unique happy. to that. I was not the happy all the time. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I think the one thing that I've, you know, coming into quote unquote endemic, endemic, which endemic. You know, mm. yeah, depending Is that what everyone's calling this? 
Is that, think, is that a thing so now? Is that an no, Aussie uh, thing? No, it's called optimism. Uh, oh. Optimism? <laughs> optimism. 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 Fuck! Optimism. So yeah, I'm optimistically calling it endemic-y and I'm, I'm calling it that because like I'm sat here now. I'm on the show. That's right. not that's yeah, not yeah, a, yeah. that's not an Aussie thing, we're, by the way. Here. That's a Kevin thing. <laughs> yeah, it's like let it be so. Yeah. So, um <laughs> but like I'm I'm really keen to like just kind of get life back mm. and just yeah. feel fucking as normal as best as possible. Like, you know, I, I want like the day to day to be really productive at the same time. Like I yeah. want, like I live in Melbourne now. I, I moved back to Melbourne because I really wanted to be closer to community and family. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I miss, fuck me, I miss Australia so much when I was living here. And that's why I moved back. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but, um, you know, Melbourne's like a beautiful city to be in. Even though we had all these crazy lockdowns and stuff, like I'm really happy there. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful base. But it is nice to just fuck off and yeah. go to Japan and <laughs> right. go to America and go to London or come to London, I should say. Yeah. And yeah. Like, so, you know, that almost is like, it's it's such a pleasure to be here right now because it is a bit of a recharge. And people still, can't, I mean, there are some countries that still can't do that. And that, yeah. that you know, you, so you got to really take it, you know, you got to really think that that's, that's right now pretty pretty lucky in the context of the mm, fact that we are yeah. going through a fucking pandemic still. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, balance is what I want to achieve. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Between, you know, lifestyle, friends, professionality, yeah. um, work ethic, uh, work quality as well. Like yeah. obviously, I don't know how the, you know, it'd be nice to potentially go back to school. Like not like right. school, school, but like, you know, I've tried learning Korean a little bit and still trying that. It's still, right. Yeah, I've had to t kind of, you know, pick my battles in terms of like, yeah, you know, yeah. trying to like learn more stuff right. yeah but i like the idea of just trying to expand a little bit mm, and try yeah. things try a little bit of streaming uh uh in like uh mid 2020 or like late oh, 2020 yeah. a little mm, bit of yeah. early 2021 i kind of like put it on the back burner because i just got really really busy with you know some of these projects yeah and yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah yeah um i do miss that i miss the yeah, streaming yeah, it's yeah. good fun yeah. um you know, just like live composing or like playing old games, like you know, yeah, um, played like like I want I want to play Metro Prime if it comes out. On the hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Yeah. hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Um, Eco on stream that was really really fun. Uh, yeah, I want to play Shadow of the Colossus. Mm, and all that yeah, sort of like that's a fun thing to experience. All like, games that have amazing music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah. This, is, this is why I like them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, I mean, but, you know, just like playing games that like are really important to me on stream yeah. or like composing mm -hmm. music in front of a you know, live audience that it almost like activates a different part of the brain a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, really yeah, fun. yeah. Um, actually, I guess you can relate it to like content creation offline and online. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. Live, I yeah. should say. Yeah. Um, so yeah, expansion. Expansion and balance, I think, yeah. is a, uh, yeah, what we're yeah, going to Expansion, like expansion. Like such a, <laughs> yeah, I'm British, you know, that <laughs> word. <laughs> I will the expand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, like, we've wanted to have you on since basically, like, the beginning of yeah. the podcast. Yeah, like, we were like, who is, would be the most perfect guest for a yeah, show yeah, like yeah. this? <laughs> <laughs> the mate Kevin. Uh, yeah, I'll make, I'll make I, Kevin. I have some bad takes for you. <laughs> <laughs> I can and, commit. And we've had, like, so bone and chicken. Oh, fucking boneless, man. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yes. Let's no. go. Yeah, dude, I'm sorry. It's my boy. You have Korean fried chicken. Do you want bone chicken or do you want like a fucking I'm, I'm, like, I'm leaving. beautiful? I'm this is like, I, you know what? Yeah. It's been a fantastic look, episode. I, <laughs> we're, we're, we're all bond together. I, we're bond together. I, look, I appreciate that you've um, come to terms a little bit better on bread. Uh, I, do respect, <laughs> I do respect that you are getting better. Yeah. <laughs> just as a person. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just saying that, uh, what what do you want to achieve in your 30s? Uh, and is, why is it boneless? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I want to... Uh, Expand. <laughs> the expansion. Yeah. It's world it's the, domination. The 30s expansion. What can I say, man? No, it, but yeah, yeah, I mean, like, I, like yeah. yeah, it's we, we've like had to, I guess, like fucking move mountains to get you on because we're not filming in Australia. We're not filming in Japan. We're filming in fucking the UK, yeah. you know, know, which right? neither of us even live in. And so we've weird, somehow... It's a weird detour. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's fine. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a weird, weird okay. detour, but it's nice that we are able to make this happen. Finally. Absolutely. Finally. And, uh, hey, I uh, like hopefully like when japan decides not to you know, yeah mate please please come yeah. please come back because we've gone two hours and somehow we've not talked about oolong high uh, oolong yeah, die we're like, not going to by the way like, yeah that's but, that that's but, the next time well, that's the, the next is, time this is the sober conversation <laughs> This is like the pre convo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah next like, next time you yeah, come yeah, on, yeah. we have to. Second yeah. episode is going to be Oolong High. Like, well, that's yeah. A, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, this is almost like, you know, this is season one. 
<laughs> this is this is the conversation we, we should have had in the old studio. Yeah, yeah. Now I've got to come to the new studio. Yeah, and just like, get this, fucking this, hammered. This, yeah. This, yeah, we've done one call. Now we've got two. Yeah. 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 Honestly, we're gonna do one point five percent more alcohol. Hell yeah! <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess uh, we'll leave it there for the time being. Uh, yeah. You know, obviously we're gonna get you back eventually yeah. in, the, in, in Japan. Yeah. Hopefully, with much. a little bit more booze and a yeah. little bit more bands. Yeah, Absolutely, but um, of yeah. yeah, but hey, in the meantime, we're, we're trying not to talk about fucking synthesizer for like three hours. Yeah. Oh, man. We're, we're, we've Let's only see, talked to which ones I get between now and then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll hear your top 10 synthesizers <laughs> list pretty soon. I've got a list. I have <laughs> I've got a fucking <laughs> list, man. Actually, yeah. do you not know? No, yeah. <laughs> tell me off camera. Tell yeah, me off camera. I was going to tell you yeah. over dinner. But <laughs> hey, look at all these patrons though. These amazing, lovely patrons. Wow, look wow, at wow, them, Kev. Look, look, look at them. Look They're just floating by. Oh my god, so many of them. Who, who's your favorite? That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Oh, Good that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, if you'd like to support the show, then uh, go over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. Also, follow us on Twitter, send us your memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. And hey, go check out Kev stuff. Yeah. Uh, wait, do you, is there anything you want to shout out, by I the way? I do the Twitters. Uh, and obviously, like Made in the Abyss is coming up uh, in uh, July. Which I'm so fucking pumped. Oh, yeah, yeah, we didn't talk about Made in the Abyss too. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah it's all right. we, we, Maybe next time. Maybe, yeah. next, Maybe time. next time. Well, it'll, yeah. be, it'll be out by the, hopefully like next time we like yeah, hang out, yeah. so we can no, finally talk good. about it in depth. No, so. yeah, we've got a couple of things going, but uh, most of them, yeah, it's like thing of it is like there's like a like a little pinpoint on your head with a sniper rifle at the end of it, and you yeah. you just like oh I'm gonna talk about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. Yeah, but, I'm uh, ready to be depressed. That's uh, hey, hey, well, right. welcome to uh, club, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yeah. To yeah. Smile, friend. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, thanks for coming on, Kev. My yeah. pleasure. Thank yeah. you to all. And uh, on a final note, I just want to say thank you to all three of you both personally. And uh, you know, it's it's been nice. Yeah. Been uh, nice man, so. what a lad! What a lad! What a, what a fucking lad! That's why he's our what boy. A what a nice lad. boy. <laughs> Love you all. Thank that's you. For, a, that's thank our man's right there. The most wholesome no. indie to yeah, trash yeah, this yeah, episode yeah, ever. Yeah. Thank you for, for doing what you do. It. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, Likewise, no, man. Oh, oh, right. oh, oh, you're right. You're not going to cry? You're going to cry? Thank you for helping both of us through this because it's been a really bad pandemic. It's nice to... Oh. Oh, sorry, I don't know. Come here, man. Come here. Yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry. I don't. Like, I don't. I don't. I thought, like, maybe if I got, like, fucking drunk, I'd like, <laughs> I didn't expect it to be, like, sober, but. Seriously, thank you for doing what you do. It really helps. Yeah. It's really nice every Saturday to come, like, wake up and oh, watch Trash Taste. Right. It's lovely to see your content. We will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so make thank, you up, for, thank you for, for doing what you do because it does Mate, yeah, yeah, man. Mate, lots of likewise, man. Lots, lots of love. Lots of love. Likewise, Made for life, man. Made for life. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just happy that I'm going to hang out again, man. I'm so fucking happy, man. Fuck, can I please have a drink? That's the end. All right, bye.